Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. Sign into the future. Gain the power of Gogeta. Chapter 1. Dirty gunpowder smoke enveloped the entire city, and the bloody setting sun sprinkled every corner of the city, exuding the smell of blood. The dilapidated high-rise buildings and the streets full of corpses are the best portrayal of this city. Three figures hovered over the city, seeing the devastated city, they couldn't help but frown. Men made man. You actually turned this city into this. Seeing this scene, the man in the red Taoist uniform clenched his fists and said through gritted teeth. His nails had sunk into his flesh, and he was so angry extreme. His name is Sun Gohan, and he is the only fighter in the whole world who can become a Super Saiyan. Many years ago, Sun Goku died of a viral heart disease, and other fighters died in battle. He is the only fighter left who is still suffering. Support. The source of all this is the two artificial humans who were born out of nowhere. They seem to be killing machines. Wherever they go, they will inevitably destroy the city. Artificial humans, I can't spare them. The purple-haired boy said indignantly with a sword on his back. Obviously, he hated artificial humans to the extreme. I didn't expect them to have reached this point. It's really hateful, if my strength is not too small. It's just that the strength is too low. The dignified traveler is not even Saiyan, he can only follow the protagonist. Except for Sun Gohan and Trunks, the rest of the young people are not from this world. He is called Yi Feng. In his world, this so-called Dragon Ball is just a cartoon. When Yi Feng woke up, he had already traveled to the Dragon Ball world. He was so excited, thinking that he would be happy to become Saiyan. But whoever thought, it's okay to travel to the Dragon Ball world by myself but what I came to is a hopeless future time and space, and my identity is just one of the ordinary earthlings in Exidu who can no longer be ordinary. There is no golden finger as a time traveler, and there is no standard configuration system. It has completely become the five scum of Dragon Ball's future time and space. Originally, I wanted to pretend to be a Saiyan, even if I didn't have these things, wouldn't the Dragon Ball world be able to make myself a Saiyan through Dragon Ball? Unfortunately, here, Piccolo was killed and Shenron completely disappeared. As for the Namek Ball, except for the dead son Goku, it is not known where the new Namek Ball is. In this situation, Yi Feng really wanted to die, but he dared not. He considered that Bulma could create a time machine in this world. If I have a good relationship with them, maybe I have the opportunity to travel to the time and space of Dragon Balls. Therefore, Relying on his sharp tongue and matching the current situation, Yi Feng finally got behind the protagonist group. By the way, he learned some things from Sun Gohan, such as his own flying technique, and some moves. Crazy gravity training coupled with the guidance of Sun Gohan and Trunks, two Saiyans, or his own extraordinary talent, allowed Yi Feng to successfully reach a combat power of almost 10,000, which gave him a certain ability to protect himself. Of course, compared to the combat power of hundreds of millions of artificial humans, his combat power is really not even superficial. However, with his attitude of lingering, even Yi Feng, who is not high in combat power, has survived until now. Before he knew it, it had been a year since he came to the world of Dragon Ball. Although he followed Sun Gohan and others to see the extent of damage to the city by artificial humans, it was definitely the first time that such a tragedy happened. When everyone is filled with righteous indignation. Ding. Congratulations to the host for successfully signing in for one year in the future world of Dragon Ball, and the Invincible Sign-In System has been successfully activated. Ding. The Invincible Sign-In System is being activated, and the current progress is 0%. Ding. The Invincible Sign-In System is being activated, and the current progress is 0%. At this moment, the sound of mechanical electronic sound synthesis suddenly sounded in Yi Feng's mind. Yi Feng was startled by the sound, and immediately called out, which directly shocked Sun Gohan and Trunks beside him. What's wrong, Yi Feng? Sun Gohan and Trunks both turned their heads, thinking that something happened to Yi Feng, or they saw the artificial man. No, it's nothing, I'm just too angry to see this scene. Yi Feng shook his head and lied but he just didn't tell the two about the voice he heard, and he was extremely angry about it it's true. These artificial humans are really hateful. Trunks said angrily, the current him is far from the composure he had when he traveled through time and space in the past. Let's take a look around, maybe there is someone alive. 
Sun Gohan shook his head, and said helplessly to the two that the purpose of their coming here was not to find a duel with the artificial man. In fact, Yi Feng was too surprised just now. System. Goldfinger. Is this life of fear and fear coming to an end? As a time traveler, he naturally knows what the system is, this is simply the standard configuration for every time traveler. Ding. The invincible sign in system is being activated, and the current progress is 10%. Ding. The invincible sign in system is being activated, and the current progress is 15%. Comma, 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 comma. Comma, 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 comma. At this moment, he was very excited to listen to the voice in his head, eager to know 100%, and he also discovered that this voice seemed to be heard only by himself. Ding. The invincible sign in system is being activated, and the current progress is 99%. Ding. The invincible sign in system is being activated, and the current progress is 100%. Congratulations to the host, your cheat has been successfully credited. How should I put it, the current Yi Feng's mood is excited, uneasy, and unimaginable. No one can understand the feeling of lingering for so long in this future time and space that will be cold if you are not careful. System, can you hear me? Following Sun Gohan and others, Yi Feng couldn't speak to the system directly, but could only ask inwardly. After all, all the traversers he knew seemed to do this. You can hear it. If you have any questions, just ask the host. The system's voice at this moment is no longer the mechanical electronic voice synthesized before, but has become a pleasant elf voice. What is the function of your system? Yi Feng couldn't wait to ask. He seemed to have heard of the sign-in system, but he still had to listen to the system's answer. This system is an invincible sign-in system. As long as the host goes to the place designated by this system to sign in, he can get corresponding rewards. I believe that with the help of this system, the host will definitely become the strongest existence in the universe. The system answered Yi Feng. Good guy, what an invincible check-in system. Now, Lao Tzu's era of fighting against the five scum is finally coming to an end. It's so cool. However, before Yi Feng had time to communicate with the system, an energy bomb that pierced the void ruthlessly shot towards the three of them. Not good. Get out of the way. As the strongest, Sun Gohan reacted the fastest, shouted loudly in front of the two, and at the same time, dodged towards the other side. Nani, an artificial human, not caring so much. Yi Feng directly used flying technique to dodge towards the other side, and Trunks did the same, successfully dodging the energy bomb. Boom, boom, the energy bomb landed in the ruins of the city, and suddenly, a mushroom cloud rose up. The powerful destructive force directly caused a wave of joy in the ruins of the city, and the ruins all over the sky danced wildly. In an instant, the entire city was directly reduced to ruins. This, the artificial man is attacking. Sun Gohan said with a frown. Although he has been fighting against the artificial man all these years, there are few people who are tough. After all, only Sun Gohan can really fight against the artificial man. And Trunks can't even become Super Saiyan, as for Yi Feng. The combat power among ordinary people is indeed good, but in the face of artificial humans, they can only become cannon fodder after all. Yi Feng, hurry up and run as far as you can. Trunks, you and Yi Feng go first. Leave the artificial man to me. Sun Gohan said decisively to the two of them. Now only he can stop the man made man. No, brother Gohan, I'm already strong, and I want to fight side by side with you. Trunks said excitedly to Sun Gohan. After all, he usually practiced hard, and his combat power has reached the million level. Looking at these two people, Yi Feng shook his head helplessly. He has no way to argue with them, after all, he is just an ordinary earthling. Ding, it has been detected that the previous host has successfully signed in for one year in the future time and space, and now the reward is being issued. Will the host accept it? Hearing this, Yi Feng couldn't help but widen his eyes. Is Lao Tzu's reward coming soon? It's better to find a place to search for it and get the system rewards. Immediately, without looking back, Yi Feng used his flying technique and flew towards the distance. This was exhausting his own strength and flying at full speed, so he soon came to a place hundreds of miles away from the city, place. Although it is somewhat immoral to do so. But becoming stronger is the key and focus, only when you become stronger can you help me. 
system, open the sign-in package. After Yi Feng came to the safe place, he said directly to the system, and at the same time, he was looking forward to it. Hope something good comes out. I can't wait for this thing myself. Ding. Congratulations to the host for gaining the power of the fusion warrior Gogeta. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting X100 fairy beans. What? The power of Gogeta. Hearing the sound of the system, Yi Feng was dumbfounded, what is the power of Gogeta? System, what is the power of Gogeta? Although Yi Feng had a judgment in his mind, he still had to listen to what the system had to say. The power of Gogeta, as the name suggests, is to allow the host to obtain everything that the fusion warrior Gogeta has, including the bloodline and talent potential. The system answered Yi Feng. Sure enough, the next moment, Yi Feng felt that his body was undergoing earth-shaking changes. His body and even every cell contained terrifying power, and his soul seemed to be sublimated in an instant. Although Yi Feng's appearance didn't seem to have changed much, his spirit was completely new. Is this the power of Gogeta? Yi Feng said excitedly feeling the changes in himself, he can now clearly feel that his potential is like a bottomless abyss that has not been developed. Then can't I just hang and beat the artificial man? Yi Feng looked directly into the distance and muttered to himself. Now that he has the power of Gogeta, he feels that his whole body is full of desire for fighting. I advise the host not to do this. Just when Yi Feng was thinking about going to a big fight, the system poured cold water on Yi Feng. Nani, why is that? Yi Feng was puzzled. Please host to open your character attribute panel to have a look. Hearing the system's words, Yi Fengpo opened his own character attribute panel without remembering. Character. Yi Feng. Race. Saiyan, Super Fusion Version. Skills. Flying Technique, Kamehameha, Magic Flash, Qigong Bomb. Talent. Possesses the full potential talent of Fusion Warrior Gogeta. Transformation. None. Combat Power. One million. Is this the so-called power of Gogeta? Why is Mao's combat power only one million? And what about Gogeta's skills and moves? Yi Feng was dumbfounded when he saw the attribute panel. Because, this Gogeta's power is the initial ability, but with Gogeta's terrifying potential talent, it's only a matter of time before the host hangs everything. The system said to Yi Feng. Fine, but it doesn't matter. The corner of Yi Feng's mouth curved, no matter what, now he has the potential talent of Gogeta, is it not easy to become stronger? Above the ruined city, there is a handsome boy with long hair floating, with his hands folded on his chest, looking at Sun Gohan and Trunks not far away with a sneer. However, it was this boy who gave Sun Gohan and Trunks a great sense of oppression. Android 17, the killing machine made by Dr. J. Luo, is even more amazingly powerful. There is no doubt that the reason why the city below has become like this is definitely from the hands of number. 17. Trunks, you go, leave this to me. Sun Gohan fixed his eyes on number 17, and at the same time said to Trunks beside him. No, brother Gohan, I want to fight with you, I'm already strong. Trunks shook his head and said, suddenly, white flames erupted from his body, and in a flash, he rushed directly towards number 17 up. Amy Road, Trunks, Sun Gohan just wanted to stop it, but it was too late. No way, the current Trunks is so impulsive. Android 18 is not there, but it should be nearby. If it can, maybe it can solve the problem of 17. Sun Gohan muttered to himself. In fact, Sun Gohan's strength is not much different from any of the artificial humans. The reason why it has been delayed until today is entirely because these two artificial humans have been together all the time. He is no match for two fists. The speed of Trunks is very fast, a few dodges have already come in front of the artificial man, and Trunks did not see any big movements, a powerful fist full of anger smashed towards Android 17. HMPH. Garbage. Regarding Trunks' attack, number 17 didn't even look at it, and directly dodged Trunks' fist. It seems that he wanted to play a game, and he didn't see number 17 counterattack. As long as Trunks attacked, he would dodge. Don't hide if you can. Trunks roared angrily, and at the same time, his attacks became more and more fierce, and his combat power increased to the limit he could achieve, nearly 2 million combat power broke out. Unable to attack for a long time, Trunks felt more and more that he was being teased by the artificial man, and his anger continued to burn. HMPH, your attack is really disappointing. 
Android 17 sneered, only to see him step back a distance, and then, his body stepped forward. Boom, before Trunks could react, the heavy punch had landed on Trunks' abdomen. Puff, the powerful force directly caused the Trunks to spurt out bright red blood, and immediately flew out backwards. Trunks, seeing Trunks being knocked out, Sun Gohan shouted angrily, this man-made man is really hateful. The surrounding air seemed to tremble for a moment, and then, Sun Gohan's pupils full of anger quickly turned emerald green, and golden flames gushed out of him continuously. Super Saiyan, Sun Gohan has become a Super Saiyan, and he is the only warrior on Earth who can become a Super Saiyan. It's really boring, it's simply vulnerable, maybe Sun Gohan, you can let me have a good time. Android 17 looked at Sun Gohan interestingly and joked. Artificial man, I want your life. Sun Gohan let out a roar, and with his anger, he kept dodging towards number. 17. When the distance was only a few feet away, the fist that was already prepared blasted out, pointing directly at No 17's face. And No 17's reaction was not slow, he crossed his hands to protect his head. Boom. Sun Gohan's fist hit No 17's arm, and Number 17 was immediately knocked back tens of meters by Sun Gohan's powerful punch. However, this attack not only did not shock Number 17, but made him even more excited. HMPH, this is interesting. Number 17 stabilized his figure in the air, with a weird smile on his face. Come on, Sun Gohan, let me have a good time. Number 17 grinned grinningly locked on Sun Gohan's position, and kept flying, and soon approached Sun Gohan's body. Come, Sun Gohan was also prepared, his eyes flickered, and his crazy punches were thrown out like crazy. Boom, the two fists collided, and suddenly, the surrounding air exploded, and the powerful air flow spread in all directions centered on the two of them. The powerful counter-shock force forced the bodies of the two people to retreat towards the back one after another. Apparently, Sun Gohan had a slightly more retreat than number. 17. Magic Flash. Sun Gohan stabilized his figure, already understood the gap between the two, reacted quickly, and shouted sharply. Suddenly, an extremely dazzling golden light burst out between his hands, and the strong flash energy slashed towards number. 17. Interesting. Number 17 sneered, and jumped forward abruptly, avoiding Sun Gohan's magic flash energy perfectly. In both hands, two energies are constantly emerging, and then gather together to form a huge energy bomb. With the advantage of the height, it locks the position of Sun Gohan below, and blasts down. As if a meteorite fell, a strong sense of oppression directly enveloped Sun Gohan below. The problem is that No 17's speed is too fast, one step faster than him, and before he has time to dodge, Number 17 is already very close. Drink. Sun Gohan let out a low cry, crossed his hands, and suddenly, a golden energy shield surrounded him. At this time, the energy bomb on the 17th has also arrived, and the powerful energy directly hits Sun Gohan's body like a meteor and flies towards the distance frantically. Boom, boom, in the distance, a mushroom cloud soared into the sky, and the powerful destructive force swallowed up all the surrounding ruins, and the terrifying air flow instantly spread thousands of miles away. This is simply a fight between gods. Yi Feng, who was in the distance, felt the air flow in shock, and he was almost blown away just by the air flow. Really, is this the gap now? Ha ha ha, Sun Gohan, so you are nothing more than that. Looking at the direction of the explosion, number 17 laughed wildly, what Super Saiyan, isn't he beaten like a dog in his own hands? Kamehameha, however, when the 17th was extremely arrogant, Sun Gohan's voice came from the thick smoke that could not be seen. Call out. Immediately afterwards, white energy light waves broke through the thick smoke, pierced the sky, and pointed directly at number. 17. Nani. Boom. Number 17 was still proud one second, and was directly impacted by Kamehameha's energy in the next second and flew towards the distance. The smoke dissipated, but Sun Gohan was panting heavily. Obviously, although he was able to use Kamehameha just now, the energy bomb of number 17 caused him a lot of damage. Boom, boom, this time, Android 17 also felt the feeling of being bombarded by energy, there was still billowing thick smoke covering everything, and the powerful bombing sound was even more deafening. What a fool. Originally, Sun Gohan had perfectly bombarded number. 
17 Kamehameha with energy, and he should have pursued the victory. However, he saw a pretty woman with blonde hair appearing near the bombing of number. 17. Number 18. Sun Gohan's pupils shrank involuntarily, feeling bad. Android 18 is also here. Maybe he has a little chance of winning one-on-one, -on -one, but if it is one-on-two, he may die here. After all, Trunks can't become Super Saiyan yet, if he dies, the world will be completely over. Brother Gohan. At this time, Trunks was flying towards Sun Gohan, and Sun Gohan immediately shouted, Run! Trunks, number 18 is here too. Good guy. This is exactly in response to the sentence, fight if you can beat it, and run if you can't beat it, the two of them cast flying technique and flew directly into the distance. How is this going? Yi Feng, who came in response, saw the two flying over and asked. Number 18 is there too. Sun Gohan said simply and clearly. Understood. Yi Feng nodded, after all, he has been with Sun Gohan for a year, how could he not understand? Sun Gohan may be able to compete with one of them, but if the two appear at the same time, it is estimated that it will definitely be cool. What's more, now that he has seen it, Sun Gohan has suffered some injuries in the battle just now. Call out. Immediately, the three figures cast flying technique at the same time and flew towards the distance. HMPH. Unexpectedly, these three guys escaped again. Next time, you won't be so lucky. Number 18 said coldly when she saw the three figures that had flown far away, but she didn't go up to pursue them. Yi Feng, who was flying, felt very uncomfortable. This artificial human really can't be judged by its appearance. He is so good looking, but who would have thought that he is a killing machine that only knows how to kill? Although Yi Feng expressed his liking for the character number 18 in the anime of his previous life, it is definitely not number 18 in this future time and space. No. You have to improve your strength quickly. Ding. A new check-in task has been generated, may the host accept it. At this moment, the voice of the system rang in Yi Feng's mind. Nani. New check-in task. Accept. Yi Feng accepted the task without even thinking about it. After all, although he has the ability of Gogeta now, he urgently needs to gain power. Ding. The sign-in task has been generated. Please sign in the host in the spiritual time house world for one year and reward Super Saiyan transformation. Good guy. Is it really Goldfinger? What is really missing? What's more, he didn't even think about the spiritual time room. He didn't expect that this world still exists. You know, there is one year in a day outside, and the gravity is ten times that of the earth. It can be called the gold medal training ground in the Dragon Ball world. He already has Gogeta's potential. Talent and blood, what is missing is only time, and in this one year, Yi Feng said that his strength will definitely undergo earth shaking changes. When the time comes and becomes Super Saiyan again, wouldn't he be able to beat everything he has encountered so far? Perfect. Just do it. You can also let Sun Gohan and Trunks go in and practice for a year, and improve the strength of these two guys by the way. After all, I have been hiding behind them. However, before that, he had to go to Exidu first, and the target was the gravity training room in Bulma's house. The reason why Yi Feng was able to gain tens of thousands of combat power by virtue of his identity as a human on Earth, is also the gravity training room. Comma 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 Nani, is there really such a place? Yi Feng, you haven't burned out your brain, right? Trunks, who was wolfing down his meal, suddenly stopped in Saitabuma's house, looked at Yi Feng in surprise and asked Road. If this is true, why didn't you say it before? Sun Gohan was also very surprised. If he had known about this kind of place, he would definitely go in and practice crazily, and then kill the artificial man. I just remembered it, Yi Feng said helplessly. He was telling the truth. If the system hadn't reminded him, he probably would have forgotten that there is such a gold medal training place. If this is really the case, that would be great. Let's go to the heavens after dinner to see it. There is no delay in killing the artificial people. Sun Gohan thinks, no matter what Yi Feng said is true or not, we still have to go up and see, because even if it is a little opportunity now, you can't let it go. Okay, the artificial man will be handed over to you three children. The old looking Bulma said with some relief looking at the three people who were full of confidence. Is this the heaven? Trunks looked at the empty heaven and said in surprise. 
That's right. Yi Feng looked at the environment that was almost the same as in his memory, nodded and said, he didn't expect that the heavens still existed, but the gods and Mr. Popo had disappeared. Although I've been here before, I don't know if the spiritual time room you mentioned, Yi Feng, exists. Sun Gohan looked around and asked. If it was Sun Gohan from the Dragon Ball's time and space, he would naturally know about the spiritual time house, but here, before Sun Gohan knew, Sun Goku had already died of a viral heart attack. So it's normal for him not to know. That's natural. Yi Feng nodded confidently and said, if it didn't exist, the system probably wouldn't issue such a task. That would be great. Isn't time what we lack? Trunks said excitedly, he is very eager to become stronger now, he wants to become a super saiyan, he wants to beat the artificial man. The fact that he was punched by number 17 for a second is still vivid in his mind, and he, who has inherited Vegeta's proud character, said that he couldn't swallow this breath. Then what are you waiting for? Hurry up and go to the spiritual time room. Sun Gohan said, even walking towards the temple ahead. Although the gods no longer exist, and Mr. Popo has disappeared, and I don't know where he went, but this heaven has not been destroyed by man-made humans. Under the search of the three, they finally found the trace of the spiritual time room inside the temple. Crack, the quaint door opened slowly, and the dazzling white light came rushing towards us. With the awe-inspiring atmosphere inside, the three of them stepped into the door of the spiritual time house. At the beginning, it was the temple bordering the spiritual time house and the outside. There is a complete set of accommodation, food and drink here, although the three of them brought all these things. This is the world of the spiritual time house. It feels white, the air is thin, and there is nothing but the harsh environment. Trunks sighed looking at the endless white world in front of him. The harsher the environment, the more it can promote a person's growth. You should understand this. Sun Gohan didn't complain about the environment like Trunks, but taught Sun Gohan. Yes, Brother Gohan. Hearing Sun Gohan's words, Trunks also realized that his thoughts just now were a bit stupid. He came to become stronger, not to eat, drink and have fun. I heard that the gravity here is ten times that of the earth. I don't know if it is true. Let me experience it first. Although Yi Feng has seen the environment of the spiritual time room in anime, it is the first time he has experienced it in reality. Immediately, he stepped out. Good guy, really. All of a sudden, Yi Feng felt that his body suddenly became several times heavier. Fortunately, he used gravity to practice on the earth, so this gravity has no effect on him. Now it's great. The gravity training room they carry can only reach a maximum of 300 times the gravity. If it is placed here, wouldn't it be able to reach 3000 times? I feel excited just thinking about it. Although it is said that those who have reached Sun Gohan have given up gravity cultivation, it is because he has reached the bottleneck under gravity cultivation, and it is impossible to have too much growth. But Yi Feng is different, he has the potential talent, bloodline and physique of the fusion warrior Gogeta, and the bottomless potential can make his combat power even better. Tut tut tut, just don't be too cool. Very good, Trunks, since we have enough time now, let's guide you to become a Super Saiyan first. Feeling the gravity, Sun Gohan couldn't help but nodded, what Yi Feng said was indeed true, now the time enough enough, let Trunks become a Super Saiyan first, so that he won't have to worry about being attacked by a cyborg in the future. Yes, Brother Gohan, Trunks said excitedly, is he finally going to become stronger? As for Yi Feng, practice what I taught you before. Sun Gohan said to Yi Feng. Obviously, in his eyes, even if Yi Feng's strength can be improved, it will not be of much help at that time. Have to. Ignored by Sun Gohan, Yi Feng shook his head helplessly and thought to himself, but it's right to think about it. If he is really an ordinary earthling, he can save his own life. Compete with artificial humans who have reached more than 100 million. Unfortunately, what Sun Gohan doesn't know is how perverted Yi Feng's physique is now. However, he still turned around and walked towards the depths of the spiritual time room. Don't look at the white world everywhere in this spiritual time room. Its actual area is about the size of the entire earth. After flying for a long time using the flying technique, Yi Feng finally stopped, landed on the ground, took out a universal capsule, and murmured, my road to becoming stronger has begun. 
In the world of spiritual time house, the air is thin and the environment is extremely harsh, but it can temper a person's will. Tick tock, tick tock. In the depths of the world of the spiritual time house, there is a gravity training room similar to a small castle. Sweat keeps falling like raindrops. Yi Feng's black t shirt has already been soaked with sweat, but this has not stopped him from practicing pace of 9,990. Comma, 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 9,999. 10,000. Yi Feng was lying on the ground doing push ups. After 10,000 push ups, he felt that his consciousness was a little fuzzy, but he got up resolutely and punched the air frantically. At this time, the data screen of the central control console in the gravity training room displayed a large, 300G, word. It has reached the strongest level that the gravity training room can achieve. You must know that the gravity of this spiritual time room world is 10 times that of the Earth, so this 300 times the gravity is worth 3000 times the weight of the Earth. It's scary just thinking about it. But this time Yi Feng knows what is called the power of Gajita. He has been practicing as if there is no bottleneck, and his potential and talent are too terrifying. He practiced desperately, every time he ate a fairy bean on the verge of exhaustion, he would be revived immediately on the spot, which allowed him to directly overcome 3000 times the gravity in one year. Call. After several hours of practice, Yi Feng finally ended his practice and turned off the gravity. Ding. Watching the gravity multiplier drop continuously, Yi Feng felt that his body was getting lighter, and in the end, he seemed to be unable to feel his own weight. Is this the body with the ability of a fusion warrior? It's simply not the kind of existence that can be compared with before. Yi Feng gasped. System, open the personal attribute interface. Yi Feng has been immersed in crazy cultivation during this time, and has never opened his attribute interface, just for today. Character. Yi Feng. Race. Saiyan, Super Fusion Version. Skills, Flying Technique, Kamehameha, Magic Flash, Qigong Bomb. Talent, Possesses the full potential talent of Fusion Warrior Gogeta. Transformation, None, Combat Power, 20 Billion. The moment Yi Feng saw his normal combat power, Yi Feng couldn't help being startled. How the hell did he reach 20 billion combat power normally? Do you want to be so scary? Ah, uh, Host. Actually, I want to say you. Just when Yi Feng was shocked, the system came out of nowhere and started to speak, but it was a bit hesitant to speak and stop the look. It's too small. The layout is too small. The host structure is too small. Nani, to be told by the system that he is too small. My own structure has always been very big, okay. System, can you talk properly, what do you mean I'm a small person? I've always been too big. Yi Feng complained. Host, you have to know that the normal combat power of 20 billion is already small for you who have the power of Gogeta. Forehead. Ignoring the system, Yi Feng re-examined his current state. With a normal combat power of 20 billion, even if he didn't change his body, he could completely rub the full body cells on the ground, right? Tut tut tut. Thinking about it makes me feel very refreshed. After two days, I will completely reach one year, and then I will transform into a Super Saiyan. Isn't the 50-fold increase of Super Saiyan directly reaching 2 trillion? I rely on. With this ability, even if Majin Buu comes out, I can rub against the ground. At this moment, Yi Feng finally felt that he was over the top. Thinking of the life when he saw the artificial man and could only run, he really felt infinitely emotional. By the way, I don't know how Sun Gohan and the others are practicing. Thinking of this, Yi Feng couldn't help drawing an arc at the corner of his mouth, but he had never released his breath. If they knew it, they didn't know what would happen. After all, the world of this spiritual time house is astonishingly large, and there are such things as universal capsules, Yi Feng naturally brought a house here, and was not with them. It's just that he felt the breath of trunks becoming Super Saiyan several months ago, but it's a pity that even if they become Super Saiyan, they can't be their current opponents. Go find them. After all, Yi Feng sensed the general aura of the two of them, and Dang even used the flying technique to fly over. Comma 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 comma. Comma 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 comma. Da 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 da. In the vast white world, two golden rays of light are constantly colliding, and the aura produced is even more astonishing. Surprisingly, the trunks who have become Super Saiyan are constantly attacking Sun Gohan. Obviously, 
Sun Gohan is worthy of being a veteran Super Saiyan, and he seems to be able to handle the attack of Trunks, the newly promoted Super Saiyan, with ease. Compared with the arrogant Trunks, Sun Gohan's aura is very calm. It's not right to attack like this. Sun Gohan shouted angrily, although Trunks' attack was very violent, but it failed to cause any substantial blow to Sun Gohan. Could it be that Sun Gohan has already reached that level? Yi Feng muttered to himself while watching the battle between the two from a distance. Did you come here? Trunks, show me your strongest strength. Sun Gohan said seriously after punching Trunks back. Okay, brother Gohan, you said that. Trunks seemed to become a little more confident when he heard this. Since I was able to transform into Super Saiyan, I have been practicing by myself, but now I think I have surpassed you. Oh, then let me see. Sun Gohan nodded, curious about the growth of Trunks. A, hey, this guy is so confident, he must be in the form in the original book, right? Yi Feng heard this, and recalled the plot of Dragon Balls, it seems that Trunks is hiding a wrong transformation. What is it like? At that time, I was afraid of hurting Vegeta's self-esteem, so I used that form when I faced Cell alone. As a result, the strength almost reached the point where it could hurt the full body of Cell, but the speed dropped, and I couldn't hit Cell at all. If it is correct, it should be in that form. As for Sun Gohan, it is estimated that he has reached full power, right? Although there is still a gap compared to the perfect body, it is not far from it. Then, let me show you the results of my practice in the past six months. Roar! Trunks clenched his fists and let out a roar. The berserk air flow spread around Trunks in all directions. The golden arrogance was like a raging fire, burning continuously, releasing scorching energy. Trunks' body is also gradually changing. At this time, his originally thin body began to become muscular and burly. Even his height seems to have increased a lot, and his whole body is full of strength. Okay, Sun Gohan frowned in the face of this form of Trunks. It's not that he doesn't know this form, but he doesn't bother to use it at all. It seems that Trunks still took the wrong path. Really, Yi Feng looked at Trunks' transformation and muttered to himself, but Trunks can reach this step in such a short period of time is already very remarkable. It can only be said that the reason why it is like that in the original book is because there is no time to calm down and practice hard. How is it? Brother Gohan, are you shocked by my powerful abilities? If I were to face an artificial human again now, I feel like I can kill one with one punch. Trunks said triumphantly. Okay, Sun Gohan nodded, but he didn't make too many comments. Indeed, the current strength of Trunks can probably reach what he said, but... Let me show you my strength. Except, Trunks transformed successfully and couldn't wait to show his strength. He clenched his fists and stood up. The whole ground trembled. His body rushed towards Sun Gohan like a cannonball. This speed seems to be the same as before. Yi Feng thought to himself, sure enough, the speed that doesn't match the strength, even if you have the strength, is it useless. However, it seems to be good when facing waves. After all, from a certain point of view, this form is already second only to the power of Super Saiyan 2. Boom, approaching Sun Gohan, Trunks did not see much movement, and a heavy punch was thrown out, pointing directly at Sun Gohan. Boom, Sun Gohan crossed his hands to block Trunks' heavy punch, and the fist was right on Sun Gohan's arm. Good guy, the power of this punch, even Sun Gohan, who has reached the full power of Super Saiyan, can directly knock out a long distance. Da da da, seizing this opportunity, Trunks hit close to him, punching out continuously, and his strength was more powerful than punch. Sun Gohan was soon defeated by Trunks and kept retreating. Is this my current strength? Awesome. Seeing that Sun Gohan was repelled by him, Trunks felt even more proud. Sure enough, is he the chosen one? Apparently, Trunks has become overly addicted to this power. Boom, he punched Sun Gohan fiercely again, and immediately opened the distance between the two of them. How is it, brother Gohan, am I strong now? Trunks said excitedly, he now feels that if he goes all out, Sun Gohan can't be his opponent, but he doesn't want to show it off Sun Gohan's face only. It's not bad, it's really good, but it's a pity that your form has a lot of disadvantages. Just when Sun Gohan was about to say something, Yi Feng's voice came from the side, and the two of them noticed that it was Yi Feng came here a long time ago. It's not right, shouldn't that be my line? Originally, 
Sun Gohan wanted to say this to Trunks, but Yi Feng unexpectedly said it out, but how did Yi Feng see it? Yi Feng, look at me, I can become a Super Saiyan now, and next, I'm going out to beat the android. Trunks couldn't wait to show Yi Feng. Ha, huh, no, what did you just say? My form has a big disadvantage. Suddenly, remembering what Yi Feng said earlier, Trunks couldn't help frowning and said. You know, now I have an extremely powerful power, maybe even stronger than Sun Gohan, Yi Feng said this kind of thing, it really made me feel somewhat unnatural. After all, Yi Feng is too weak. Yeah, Trunks, I also wanted to say just now, didn't you notice it? Although your form has indeed obtained unimaginable power, but you are too obsessed with this power and ignore the speed. Sun Gohan is also serious said. How? Dot how is it possible? I don't believe this. Trunks shook his head and said, this feeling of being denied is really uncomfortable. Don't believe me. Come on, Trunks, use your form to attack me. Hearing what Trunks said, Sun Gohan smiled. He knew that it was time for Trunks to realize the disadvantages of his form. Take it. Trunks got ready and attacked Sun Gohan again. Hearing the words of Yi Feng and Sun Gohan, it was like pissing off Trunks, who was just about to show off, saying that his speed couldn't keep up with his strength, which he couldn't accept. He can't accept it either. He clenched his fists, unknowingly, his strength was much heavier than the one attacking Sun Gohan earlier. Humph! Seeing Trunks' movements, the corners of Sun Gohan's mouth rose slightly, and his eyes sparkled. Boom! Trunks slammed up with a crazy punch, but was easily dodged by Sun Gohan. How come? Although Trunks was shocked, his hands did not stop, and he continued to attack Sun Gohan. Sun Gohan didn't fight back either, but kept dodging to avoid Trunks' attack. Sure enough, although Trunks is powerful, his speed is really inferior. Even though he has tried his best, he still can't touch the corner of Sun Gohan's clothes. How could this be? Trunks couldn't help but panic after being unable to attack for a long time without even touching him. Could it be that what Sun Gohan and Yi Feng said was true? Is this form of myself a wrong transformation? But how could this be acceptable? It's hard to achieve this transformation, it's hard to have such a powerful power. I just said, Trunks, although you have gained strength, you have lost speed. Sun Gohan said in a deep voice. In a real battle, it doesn't make sense if you can't hit your opponent. After Sun Gohan finished speaking, he perfectly dodged Trunks' attack again, and dodged in front of Trunks. Immediately, he struck out with a heavy punch, which landed directly on Trunks' abdomen. Boom, the painful feeling began to spread from the abdomen, and then spread to the whole body. Trunks' face gradually turned pale, and cold sweat began to break out continuously. Seizing this opportunity, Sun Gohan turned around quickly and slapped Trunks hard in the stomach with a whip kick. Call out, good guy, this clean and neat movement kicked Trunks, who was still immersed in his own strength, flying out. Shua, Shua, Shua. Trunks quickly flipped his body in the air and finally landed on the ground, but there was still violent friction with the ground, and he stopped after a certain distance. Cough, cough. Trunks was panting heavily at this moment, his complexion was not very good, it could be seen that besides the speed that could not keep up with this form, another bigger drawback was too fast physical exertion. The full power of Sun Gohan's Super Saiyan has reduced the energy consumption to the minimum, and the battery life is super strong. How could this be? Is this form really wrong? Trunks said in puzzlement, and began to agree with Sun Gohan's statement in his heart. That's right, I can also transform into your form, but the energy consumption is too high and the speed can't keep up, so I don't bother transforming. Sun Gohan said to Trunks. I see, it seems that I was indeed wrong. Trunks nodded, and changed into a normal Super Saiyan form at the same time. After all, the energy consumption of that form just now was too great. That's right, but with your current abilities, anyone can hit an artificial human with a single shot. So, you don't have to worry. Sun Gohan looked at Trunks' dejected look, and comforted him. Indeed, the current strength of the two of them is more than enough to deal with those two man-made humans. Well, you guys are done fighting, I don't know, can you use Super Saiyan to fight me twice? During this time, my hands are very itchy. The one who spoke was naturally Yi Feng. To be honest, in the past, he always wanted to have a hearty battle, but unfortunately, at that time, his strength was too low. 
but now that he has the power of Gogeta, he is completely different. He is a reborn existence, and his normal combat power has reached the level of 20 billion. Although he cannot transform into Super Saiyan, this combat power can definitely walk sideways up. Nani, Yi Feng, are you kidding me? Now we are both Super Saiyan, if we fight with you, we may hurt you. Hearing Yi Feng's words, Trunks said disapprovingly. However, what he said was the truth. If an ordinary person were to be in front of Saiyan, he would be like an ant. This one, try it and you'll know. What if I'm stronger than both of you? Yi Feng shrugged and said, he knew it would be this kind of result. Who would let him be an ordinary person in front of him? But now he estimates that the combat power of the two is at best around 1 billion. Facing him with a combat power of 20 billion, it still doesn't look good enough. I can see that during this time, Yi Feng, your strength should have improved a lot, but it won't work if you want to compete with Super Saiyan. Sun Gohan also nodded and said, because Yi Feng hid his aura because of this, even Sun Gohan couldn't feel Yi Feng's strength. Oh, is it so? So, speaking of this, the corner of Yi Feng's mouth drew an arc, and then, his body was like a volcanic eruption, a powerful aura continued to emerge, and a strong wind formed around him, expanding outwards non-stop. How come? Feeling the violent air current, Trunks and Sun Gohan were dumbfounded, what the hell is going on? Isn't Yi Feng an ordinary person? Even if he practiced to the extreme, he couldn't reach this level, right? Although the aura was weaker compared to their full strength, this was something that even the two of them, Super Saiyan, were quite afraid of. Good guy, I have always ignored the existence of Yi Feng, and now Sun Gohan realizes that Yi Feng's strength must not be underestimated. Finally, Yi Feng restrained his breath, looked at the two people with shocked faces, and couldn't help but smile and said, How is it? I wonder if you can fight me twice now. Although I don't know, Yi Feng, how you made your normal state reach this level, but now you have successfully aroused my desire to fight. Trunks just lost to Sun Gohan, and I still feel a little uncomfortable. Now just want to vent. And Yi Feng has cultivated to this level, which rekindled his desire to fight. Trunks doesn't think that Yi Feng will be stronger than himself or anything, after all, he is a Super Saiyan, although Yi Feng's aura is indeed not weak but compared with his full strength aura, it is still far behind. If Trunks knew that Yi Feng had only controlled his chi to a combat power of around 500 million, I don't know what Trunks would think. Okay, it's good to experience more actual combat now. Knowing that Yi Feng's strength is not much worse, Sun Gohan is also relieved, ready to see who is better between Yi Feng and Trunks. How did Yi Feng become stronger? Could it be a gravity training room? Suddenly, Sun Gohan thought of the gravity training room, as if Yi Feng had always favored the gravity training room. It's not that Sun Gohan has never practiced in the gravity training room, but he feels that after reaching a certain speed, the so-called gravity training probably won't have much effect. So, he and Trunks came to the world of the spiritual time room, but they didn't bring the gravity training room. However, even if you use the gravity training room, it may be difficult to achieve this state, right? Thinking about it now, this is the only explanation left. I can only say that Yi Feng is really amazing. HMPH, Yi Feng, I'm Super Saiyan now. If I make the first move, it will look like I'm bullying you. You should make the first move, Trunks said with a confident smile. Obviously, he really didn't know Yi Feng puts it in his eyes, even just now Yi Feng's aura is extraordinary. Don't worry, there's no need. Yi Feng shook his head and said, he didn't want to reveal his real combat power, for fear of leaving a psychological shadow on these two guys, but let him attack first. This is unnecessary. Nani, Yi Feng, are you actually quite arrogant? Then let me take a good look at the capital you found first. Trunks said in a deep voice, and at the same time, a gleam flashed in his eyes. Call out. It flew towards Yi Feng, and Yi Feng naturally didn't sit still and wait for the trunks to attack, but also rose from the ground and rushed towards the trunks. Good guy, these two people collided like two shooting stars crazily. Boom, the fists collided, and suddenly, the surrounding air exploded. Trunks, who was a little proud at first, gradually froze the smile on his face at this moment. What kind of strength is this? Trunks' complexion changed, he felt bad, and wanted to increase the strength in his hands, but it was too late, and he was directly blasted out. Nani. How can that be? 
Could it be that Yi Fang's anger just now is not all about him? Seeing that Super Saiyan Trunks was blown away by Yi Fang's punch, Sun Gohan couldn't be more shocked. You know, in Sun Gohan's impression, although Yi Fang's talent is good, but after all, he is just an ordinary earthling, how could he possess such powerful power? Being able to knock a Super Saiyan into the air makes it even more outrageous. Call out. Trunks' body made a large roundabout in the air before he could barely stabilize his figure. At the same time, he was shocked. How could this be possible? Yi Feng is just an ordinary person, but he actually has the strength to compete with Super Saiyan. It must be an accident. That's right, it's just an accident. Trunks forced himself to comfort himself, and then, he kept dodging and rushed towards Yi Feng. The speed was very fast, the distance of 100 meters was only an instant away, and he punched, pointing directly at Yi Feng's face. Snapped. Yi Feng turned his fist into a palm, grabbed Trunks' fist directly, pulled it along with the momentum, and then pushed his elbow up. Boom. Trunks never expected that Yi Feng could be so strong that not only did he lose his own strength, that elbow directly made Trunks experience what is called pain. He bowed his body in pain and kept back away. Nani. Is this okay too? Sun Gohan's heart was agitated at the moment, he could tell that the punch just now was almost the strongest in the form of Trunks Super Saiyan, and it was struck out by Yi Feng so lightly, isn't it a bit too much? Too sci-fi. Cough, cough. After a long while, Trunks finally calmed down, panting heavily, now he dare not underestimate Yi Feng. I don't believe it. Keep going. Trunks shouted loudly, and then directly resorted to the prince's tactics, locked on Yi Feng's position, and threw energy bullets out of his hand. Whoosh whoosh. Dozens of energy bombs enveloped Yi Feng like a meteor shower. Not bad, I want to use quantity to win. Unfortunately. Yi Feng shook his head, stretched out his palm, and suddenly, a transparent energy shield appeared around him. Boom boom boom. The energy bombs kept hitting Yi Feng's energy shield, and immediately after that, it caused an explosion. Boom, boom, the majestic explosion resounded throughout the world of the spiritual time house, and Yi Feng's location was completely shrouded in smoke. After a while, the smoke gradually dissipated, Yi Feng was still in place, even his energy shield was not damaged in any way, it was still intact. Do you want to be so scary? This directly made Trunks and Sun Gohan dumbfounded, what the hell is going on? A year ago, Yi Feng was just an ordinary person hiding behind them, but now he has become an existence capable of hardening Super Saiyan. Why not, let's go together. Yi Feng said with a smile. He used to long for the feeling of crushing opponents with a strong force, but unfortunately, after coming to the world of Dragon Ball for a whole year, he could only be a coward. Now that Yi Feng has finally experienced the benefits of being strong, it's really cool. Now that there is this sign-in system, why don't I have to be in the air every second of every day? Nani. One person against two. Yi Feng, although you are indeed very strong now, you are too arrogant. Trunks exclaimed, he did not expect Yi Feng to be so arrogant. Yes, why don't you let me do two tricks with you? Sun Gohan is also very curious about Yi Feng's current strength. He can actually win against Super Saiyan's Trunks. Although Trunks is the new Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan's strength is not but it's not a joke. Fighting against Trunks all the time, Sun Gohan is definitely winning. He didn't feel the feeling of fighting at all. Now that Yi Feng is so strong, he is happy to see him. It's all right, Yi Feng nodded confidently. Although he doesn't have the ability to transform into a super race now, his normal combat power alone is 20 billion. Even if two people attack at the same time, they are not his opponents. Even Sun Gohan has reached the full power of the most ideal Super Saiyan. Good guy, let me come and see you. Sun Gohan has been in the Super Race state, but there is no energy fluctuation at all, but the more he is like this, the stronger he is. Putting on a fighting posture, staring at Yi Feng with full concentration, wanting to see where Yi Feng's flaws are. Just come here, I want to see the results of your practice this year. Yi Feng shrugged and said, he knew that Sun Gohan's talent is not weak, let alone he has been practicing for a year. His. As you wish. Sun Gohan smiled, and then, a gleam flashed in his eyes, and then, his whole body seemed to turn into a bolt of lightning, piercing the space and charging towards Yi Feng. Buzz. Sun Gohan's body rubbed against the air, making piercing noises continuously. 
the distance of 100 meters was fleeting. Coming in front of Yi Feng, Sun Gohan didn't make any extra moves. He just punched Yi Feng directly. This punch was almost full of strength. After all, he knew that Yi Feng was very powerful. The best proof. Boom, Yi Feng didn't punch, but reached out and grabbed Sun Gohan's fist. In an instant, Sun Gohan couldn't help frowning, all his strength was gone. Good guy, in a year, how can it grow so fast? After one punch failed, Sun Gohan launched a continuous attack. It can only be said that Sun Gohan is worthy of being Sun Gohan. He has rich combat experience and various attack methods emerge in endlessly. Although not as strong as Yi Feng in terms of strength, his experience is incomparably richer, and Yi Feng naturally felt this. However, in the face of absolute power, it seems that all of these can be regarded as nothing. Break. With one punch, Yi Feng directly broke through all of Sun Gohan's defenses, and landed heavily on Sun Gohan's chest. Puff. Good guy, this punch directly made Sun Gohan, who hadn't fought against a strong man for a year, experience pain from his heart, and the powerful force forced Sun Gohan's body to keep moving backwards. Nani, even brother Gohan is not an opponent. Seeing this, Trunks became more and more surprised. One year, just one year, Yi Feng has undergone such a big change. What has he experienced this year? Sun Gohan's body kept retreating, at least a few hundred meters before stopping. So strong. This is Sun Gohan's evaluation of Yi Feng now. I've already said it, let's go together. Yi Feng waved his hands and said, it's not that Yi Feng is inflated, but that his own strength is too strong. Nani, is this too bloated? Come on. Hearing Yi Feng's words, the hot-blooded youth trunks expressed dissatisfaction. The arrogance that had just been extinguished was ignited again. Then let's go together. Sun Gohan nodded. After seeing Yi Feng's strength just now, he knew that he was not Yi Feng's opponent. With Trunks, it might be better. There are still a few days before a year, and Yi Feng is so strong. This gave him a chance to actually fight Trunks. Two figures flashed towards Yi Feng quickly, both of them were full of energy and menacing. Okay, let's have a hearty battle. Yi Feng also made preparations, slightly increased his fighting power, and then shot out like an arrow off the string. Boom, boom, accompanied by two loud sounds. Yi Feng and Trunks' son Gohan collided together. Good guy, it turned out that Trunks and son Gohan were repelled again, and Yi Feng was as stable as a mountain, motionless. How can this situation be tolerated? The two frantically attacked Yi Feng, and now Yi Feng finally experienced what it means to abuse food. Even if he faced Trunks and son Gohan alone, one against the other, he seemed to be able to handle it with ease. Chapter 11 Call Out in the sky, an energy bomb pierced the sky, like a meteor falling in the center of the city. Immediately, golden flames spread from the center of the city in all directions, and the overwhelming destructive power instantly engulfed the entire city in the bombing. Rumble, rumble, the majestic explosion sound resounded across the sky. One second, the city was still a city of tall buildings, and the next second it was turned into ruins amidst the explosion. Ha ha ha, it's really boring. The long-haired boy above the ruins of the city smiled cruelly. Although the words were boring, the explosion made him even more excited. I don't know where those three guys went. They slipped away last time. I must kill them next time. After all, that's the pleasure, right? No, 17, said number 18 with a cold face. Obviously, in her eyes, those three people were nothing more than ants. Sister, I have a good proposal. Oh, what's the proposal? Let's take a look. Hearing what number 17 said, number 18 immediately became interested. After all, destroying the city is just a daily operation of the two of them, and it's not too much. Big excited. I think, if we go to destroy the western capital, those three guys will definitely run out, and then, can we have a good time? When the 17th said this, the cruel smile on his face grew stronger. Hair shines brightly. It makes sense. Just do it. Number 17, let's go. No 17's proposal really made number 18 interested, and he couldn't wait to go to Exidu, even though Exidu is on the other side of the earth where they are. The siblings are all bloodthirsty man-made humans, and immediately used the flying technique to fly towards Exidu. Just after number 17 and number 18 left, a green monster appeared above the city, looking greedily at the direction of number 17 and number 18 who left. 
you can't get away. Number 17 and number 18, you two guys will definitely show your flaws. When the time comes, just obediently become my nourishment, ha ha ha. Obviously, the green monster has already regarded number 17 and number 18. Killed his prey. Comma 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 comma. Comma 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 comma. In the world of the spiritual time house, one year has passed quickly, and in these few days, Yi Feng has perfectly experienced the feeling of abusing people. With his terrifying normal combat power, he will join forces with Sun Gohan the two abused with trunks to the death. As a result, the two of them have been full of shadows about their rivalry with Yi Feng. Too frightening, they would rather fight against two androids than confront Yi Feng again. However, after being abused by Yi Feng, the strength of the two has improved significantly in just a few days. Ding! Congratulations to the host for successfully signing in for one year in the spiritual time house world, and now the reward will be issued, may the host accept it. The voice of the system finally rang in Yi Feng's mind again. This is a long lost sound. Except, ding, congratulations to the host for gaining the ability to transform into a Super Saiyan. With the end of the system prompt, Yi Feng felt that he had acquired a new ability, as if this ability was innate. He wanted to become a Super Saiyan, and that was just a thought it's just a matter. Tut tut tut, sure enough, the system did not deceive me. The products produced by the system are all high quality products. Although he now has the ability to become a Super Saiyan, Yi Feng is not in a hurry to try it. His normal combat power is too strong. If he becomes a Super Saiyan, wouldn't it directly destroy this spiritual time house? Although I may not come here in the future. So be it. It's time, it seems that it's time for us to leave here. Standing in the temple of the spiritual time house, Sun Gohan said in a deep voice, and now he is full of confidence. Among the three of them, any one of them can deal with the artificial man, and all this is because of this gold medal training place, the spiritual time room. Now, it is time to solve the scourge of the artificial man. I can't wait to meet artificial humans, Trunks said excitedly. Although he can become Super Saiyan, it is too uncomfortable to be here, and there is no sense of accomplishment at all. Being abused by Sun Gohan is fine, after all, Sun Gohan is a veteran Super Saiyan, but he did not expect to be abused by Yi Feng again these days, so he also wants to experience the pleasure of abuse. It's time. Yi Feng also nodded and said, finally no longer have to worry about living in fear, now artificial human is a fart. Comma 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 comma. Comma 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 comma. Exidu, this is a city that has not been destroyed by man-made humans. Even in this form, it is still full of traffic and magnificent. However, the two of them on the 17th and 18th had already arrived above the western capital, Looking at the city below, their faces gradually showed cruel expressions. Are you coming or me? Number 17 asked number. 18. With the strength of the two, it is just a matter of casually destroying a city. HMPH, this time, let me do it. Number 18 said with a cold snort, raised her palms and aimed at the city below, and the energy quickly gathered between her palms. The purpose of the two of them is very simple. They want to lure the three of Sun Gohan by destroying the western capital. At that time, they can feel the thrill of killing the strong again. Call out. Another meteor piercing the sky fell towards the city center of the western capital, but the energy bomb failed to hit the ground. Boom. A light beam from nowhere pierced through the void, and it actually directly penetrated the energy bomb of number 18, causing the energy bomb that was originally enough to destroy the entire city to be wiped out in an instant. Nani, what's going on? The imaginary explosive fireworks did not appear, number 18 frowned, and then showed a strange smile. HMPH, sure enough, they are here, number 17. Number 17 nodded, his face gradually showing excitement, it seems that this time he can have a good time. Yi Feng, Sun Gohan and Trunks came here and confronted number 17 in number. 18. Unexpectedly, the two of you actually came here and wanted to destroy the western city. It's unforgivable. Trunks roared, his mother Buma was here, and these two guys actually wanted to destroy the western city. Very annoying. Yo, isn't this Trunks? Last time I punched you down, you still dare to run out. Could it be that you have figured it out and are going to be killed by me? Number 17 mocked with a sneer. 
In his eyes, there is no difference between trunks and ants, only Sun Gohan has two brushes, as for Yi Feng. That's even worse than ants. HMPH, do you think I'm still the same as I used to be? Hearing No 17's ridicule, Trunks sneered and flew forward, with murderous intent in his eyes. Ha ha ha, are you going to laugh at me to death? Trunks, I beat you like a dog a day ago, have you forgotten? Hearing Trunks' words, number 17 seemed to have heard the funniest joke yes, I laughed out loud. Today is different, Trunks didn't continue to talk to number 17, just said something cold, anyway, these two artificial humans are dead today. Gohan, aren't you going? Seeing Sun Gohan's indifferent look, Yi Feng couldn't help asking. Both of them, it's not worth my shot. Sun Gohan shook his head, the current trunks is stronger than when he first entered the spiritual time room, isn't it easy to deal with these two artificial humans? He just needs to keep an eye on it. In case of danger, it's not too late to make a move. Now these two guys can practice for trunks. Okay, in fact, I can destroy these two guys with a snap of my fingers, but I'm too lazy to do it. Yi Feng also shook his head and said, these two artificial humans are simply weak for him now can. Not interested at all. Is today different from the past? Okay, sister, leave this trunks to me. Today I will kill this raving kid. Number 17 said incomparably coldly. What Trunks said just now made him feel very uncomfortable, so he killed this guy. Oh, is it so? Then, let you all see how powerful I am. What? After Trunks finished speaking, he immediately clenched his fists and roared to the sky. A violent and domineering aura continued to emerge from his body. Golden flames spewed out like flames, continuously burning around Trunks. The terrifying airflow that came from them actually caused number 17 and number 18, who were suspended in the air, to retreat a little bit. Nani, Super Saiyan, what happened to this Trunks? Seeing that Trunks had turned into a blonde and blue-eyed look at this time, number 17 and number 18 were shocked. Just for one day, Trunks turned into Super Saiyan. What happened to this Trunks? Immediately, number 17 had an ominous premonition. Now Trunks can become a Super Saiyan, and Sun Gohan has long been a Super Saiyan. If the two join forces, it will not be easy for their siblings to kill them again. Fine, only one day later, Trunks must have just turned into Super Saiyan, and his strength is definitely not as good as Sun Gohan. Therefore, they must kill these two guys today, otherwise they will be in trouble when Trunks grows up in the future. Not only the 17th thinks this way, but also the 18th. It's a pity, what the two of them don't know is that the current Trunks is definitely not the type who can just become a Super Saiyan. After becoming a Super Saiyan in the spiritual time room, he has been practicing for more than half a year. He is now stronger than Sun Gohan. Even stronger when you just entered. Sister, get rid of Trunks first. The 17th said to the 18th, now he dare not be careless, the Trunks can become Super Saiyan, the Trunks must be dealt with first. Okay, number 18 nodded, she also had a bad feeling. I didn't expect that Trunks could also become Super Saiyan. This is really a miscalculation. It seems that we have to find a chance. In a certain corner, a pair of strange eyes stared at everything that happened above, and muttered to himself. HMPH, you two go up together. The corners of Trunks' mouth raised, now is a good time for him to show, even if the opponent is two artificial humans, he is not afraid at all. Nani, so arrogant, you finished you, help me, bring it to you. Seeing the arrogant appearance of Trunks, number 17 expressed that he couldn't take it anymore. He was the only one who was always arrogant. How can Trunks be arrogant? HMPH, just let the horse come here. Facing the menacing android siblings, Trunks' eyes were more disdainful. Court death, number 17 leapt over in an instant shook hands into fists, and looked fiercely, like a wild beast seeing its prey, and rushed up frantically. Humph, I saw Trunks sneer, and with a flash, he perfectly dodged No. 17's attack. Nani, there is such a thing. One punch missed, No. 17 was shocked and angry, Trunks actually has this kind of ability. I'm coming. As soon as Trunks stepped aside, No. 18 struck suddenly and punched Trunks directly in the face. Boom, it's a pity that before the punch came, Trunks had already launched an attack first, and the fist landed on No. 18's abdomen. Although No. 18 is indeed extremely beautiful, her heart is extremely dark. Moreover, 
Trunks has never been a sympathetic person. The powerful force forced No 18's body to shoot out like an arrow off the string, and with a bang, it went straight through the tall building, and it didn't know where it fell. Nani, sister, seeing that number 18 was blown away by Trunks' punch, number 17 was extremely anxious, but he knew that such an attack should be fine. Getting rid of Trunks is the key. Trunks, you are courting death. Number 17 let out a roar, and his figure seemed to turn into lightning, and rushed towards the Trunks. Even though they were separated by a long distance, it seemed that they were so close at this moment, and they were there in an instant. Facing the attack of Number 17, Trunks frantically blasted at Trunks with furious fists, and Trunks was full of disdain on his face. He didn't make any moves, just dodged no 17's attack like this. Don't hide if you have the ability. On the 17th, he threw dozens of punches in a row, but all of them failed, and the anger in his heart was constantly burning. This Trunks is really something. They only know how to hide. HMPH, that's what you said. Trunks smiled, then stepped forward fiercely, tilting his head slightly, perfectly avoiding no 17's attack, his knees and elbows suddenly stretched out, and it hit number 17 directly belly. Puff, the body of number 17 kept retreating, bowed in pain, and besides pain, there was disbelief on his face. How did Trunks become so strong? What happened this day? Trunks, go to hell. At this moment, the voice of number 18 sounded from behind Trunks, and immediately after that, a beam of energy hit directly. HMPH, do you think I don't know? Hearing the voice of number 18, Trunks turned around in an instant, and then slammed up with energy in one hand. Boom, the energy beam on the 18th was instantly cancelled out. I said number 18, you are wrong. You don't talk about wood. A sneak attack, Trunks looked at number 18 and said unhappily, what he despises the most is the guy behind the sneak attack. Cut, don't get carried away. Trunks was a little annoyed, but number 18 was even more annoyed than Trunks. She just couldn't understand why Trunks would have such a big change and be so strong. But now, there is no choice but to fight. The figure kept flickering, and kept approaching the Trunks, and then launched an extremely fierce attack, the move was fatal, and the move was close to the point. However, in the face of such a fierce attack of Android 18, Trunks seems to be able to do a job with ease and look very relaxed. What, number 18, is this your speed? Simply too slow. Since Trunks did not bear the same blow as in the original book, the current Trunks seemed a little arrogant after gaining great power. Nani, you look down on me. Hearing Trunks' ridicule, number 18 was also furious, and the speed of his hands was even faster, and the surrounding space was constantly making explosive sounds. However, there was no way to break through Trunks' defense. Immediately afterwards, Android 17 over there also joined the battle group, and it was the android siblings who challenged Super Saiyan Trunks. It's just that the current Trunks is too strong, how can the two join forces to defeat it? As expected, Trunks did not disappoint Son Gohan. He was able to deal with two artificial humans by himself, which really made him a master very gratified. It's really boring. It seems that Trunks has inherited a lot of Vegeta's character. Yi Feng thought to himself, otherwise, if Trunks survived Son Gohan's death, these two artificial humans would have been wiped out just now up. Why is this Trunks so strong? If the 17th and 18th are directly blasted to pieces by Trunks, how can I become a complete body? In the corner, the green monster is really anxious, does he want to rush out? It's a pity that he can't be the opponent of Trunks at all now, but if he doesn't come out, wouldn't he just watch number 17 and number 18 being blasted to pieces by Trunks in front of him? How did things get so bad? Above the city, the android siblings are attacking the trunks crazily. The power generated is like lightning and thunder, which is very frightening. Those who don't know it think it will rain soon. With the passage of time, the android siblings finally gradually realized a problem. The two siblings could not win a mere trunks together. So what if Sun Gohan makes a shot? Aren't the two of them going to cool off? The two siblings can be said to be connected with each other, and they quickly understood each other's thoughts. Such a change was indeed unexpected for the two, but it seems that now is not the time to care about it. The point is that when Sun Gohan makes a shot, can the two of them escape? The answer is of course no. 
Once this kind of flinching thought arises, the two of them have no intention of fighting, and only want to seize the opportunity to escape. Is this the only strength you have? I'm so disappointed, Trunks said to the two siblings in a very disappointed tone. Nani, look down on us, I kill you. Trunks taunt really played a big role, making the android siblings dare not hide their secrets, fighting desperately, fists full of anger, falling crazily, but they were still caught one by one by Trunks. Boom. Finally, the two siblings attacked at the same time, using the force of the counter shock to directly distance themselves from Trunks. Why didn't Trunks end the battle? Sun Gohan frowned and said, he wanted to give Trunks a chance to fight, but now Trunks is already in existence that can crush the android siblings, and it seems to be the same result if they continue to fight. It's better to kill the man-made man directly. Die, Trunks, accompanied by the roar of the two. The android sister and brother began to gather energy in a tacit understanding, and the white energy light wave kept shining in their hands. Trunks, don't forget, this is the capital of the West. Sun Gohan still reminded Trunks, if Trunks doesn't catch it or let the energy bombs fall directly into the surface, in terms of the actual strength of artificial humans, destroying the entire city will be a matter of time. Instant thing. Clear, since you guys want to play, then I'm not welcome. Trunks sneered. He had almost finished playing just now, and it's time to end this battle. Magic Flash. What? Trunks was taught by Sun Gohan. Naturally, he will also use Piccolo's Magic Flash move. The dazzling light keeps flickering in Trunks' hands. What? Over there, the android siblings roared in unison, and then, two beams of energy slammed towards the Trunks' light cannonballs, and the surrounding air continued to make piercing noises and the magic flash energy of Trunks also rushed up like a broken bamboo. The two energies of the android siblings kept rotating and entangled with each other, and finally directly fused into a giant energy bomb, which ruthlessly collided with the magic flash energy of the Trunks. Crackling. At the moment when the two energies collided, there were continuous lightning and thunder, and electric light and flint were constantly rubbed together, and white light instantly enveloped the entire city. Boom. Boom. Finally, the two energies were directly detonated in the sky above the city. Along with the deafening explosion sound, billowing thick smoke was also formed in the sky above the city. It's now. The android siblings were waiting for this opportunity, so just now the two of them took the risk of confronting Trunks in order to cause the explosion, and this time is probably enough time for the two to escape. Now the two of them don't have the ambitions they had at the beginning. Obviously, the former defeated opponents have become so strong now, and if they continue to consume, they will probably die here directly. Whoosh, whoosh, the two of them didn't dare to stay for a moment, they burned energy directly, raised their speed to the extreme, and flew towards the distance frantically. Not good, Trunks, these two guys are going to escape. No choice, Sun Gohan was the first to react when he saw the artificial man choose to escape. Although he didn't make a move just now, he has been paying attention to the dynamics of the artificial man, for fear that these two guys will just run away. The figure turned into a golden light that swept towards the artificial man like lightning. Nani, a coward who can only run away. I'm so mad, Trunks roared angrily, and immediately tried his best to catch up. Although artificial humans are not to be feared anymore, their existence is the biggest hidden danger to this world, so artificial humans must die. It's really careless. Yi Feng shook his head when he saw this and said, he didn't expect these two artificial humans to be so afraid of death and run away at a critical moment. Good job, the 17th and the 18th, you two must not die, I still have to wait for you to become my nourishment. In the corner, the green monster said very excitedly, just now he almost I was frightened, if the 17th and 18th were killed, wouldn't it be? Okay. At this moment, the green monster suddenly felt a strong sense of crisis, and was so frightened that he didn't dare to move, and his breathing stopped directly. Yi Feng, who was about to chase after him, felt a little weird, as if there was something staring at them in a certain corner of the city. Could it be, my illusion? It must be an illusion. Immediately, Yi Feng used flying technique to chase after him. Phew, it's too dangerous, I was almost discovered. Just wait, wait until I devour those two guys, and see how I deal with you. You can't escape, just die. The android siblings are running away crazily, but Sun Gohan's voice rang out behind them. If this had happened a day ago, 
the two of them would have stopped without hesitation and let Sun Gohan know why Huar was so red. But at this moment, a lot of things have changed. In just one day, the former ants' trunks actually became the existence that crushed the two of them. That is to say, Sun Gohan's strength may become stronger. At least, much stronger than trunks. Under such circumstances, how dare the two of them stay? The speed of the three of them was extremely fast, and at this moment they had arrived at a city that had been turned into ruins next to the western city. And Sun Gohan is getting closer and closer to the two of them. As for Trunks and Yifeng, they followed closely behind. Well, to be honest, it's just that Yifeng didn't want to make a real move. Otherwise, the android siblings at this moment would probably have turned into ashes. HMPH, you guys, you can't run away. Sun Gohan said extremely coldly, and suddenly, he grabbed the void with both hands, and Sun Gohan held the two energy bombs in his hands. Whoosh, whoosh. The two energy bombs quickly flew towards the android siblings. Not good, sister, get out of the way. Number 17 was the first to discover the energy bomb, and immediately stepped aside and said to number. 18. The moment the two of them moved away, the two energy bombs collided with each other, and immediately after that, they were directly detonated out of thin air. Rumble, rumble. High in the sky, there was a deafening explosion sound, and the two artificial humans were affected by the energy explosion and were forced to stop. Sun Gohan is gone. On the 18th, they suddenly found that Sun Gohan, who was behind them just now, had disappeared. Sorry, behind you. Suddenly, Android 18 felt a cold breath coming from behind, and even wanted to get out of the way. Sister, run away. Number 17 also found Sun Gohan, although he couldn't figure out why Sun Gohan had such a speed, but there was no time to think about these things now. Boom, just when number 18 was about to dodge, Sun Gohan directly hit no 18's back with a whip kick. Puff, the powerful force prompted number 18 to turn into a bullet, falling towards the ruins of the city below. With a, bang, the body penetrated into the ruins, and the smoke and dust continued to rise. Sun Gohan, I'm fighting with you. Number 17 was angry, although he was right to kill, but he respected No 18's sister very much. Now that Sun Gohan did such a thing, it's really true. It is unforgivable. The anger is constantly burning and spreading. The aura of No 17's body is constantly emerging, the messy long hair is constantly flying in the wind, and the murderous aura on his body has also reached the extreme. I guess I can't escape. Instead of this, it is better to fight Sun Gohan to the death drink. Number 17 let out a low cry, flashed continuously, and in an instant, was already in front of Sun Gohan, punching hard, pointing directly at Sun Gohan's face. With this angry punch, it is estimated that the planet could explode in an instant. Boom. However, it was this crazy punch that was easily received by Sun Gohan. Before number 17 showed shock, Sun Gohan had already grabbed No 17's arm, and then threw Number 17 like a stone towards the ruined city. How can Number 17 be able to resist the full power of Super Saiyan? After a while, the body of Number 17 was smashed directly into the ruins. You two, just disappear here completely. Kamehameha. Sun Gohan said incomparably coldly, his hands had been put together on his waist, and what he was using was Kamehameha, the special skill of Kamehameha. The white energy continuously surged between the hands, accompanied by lightning bolts, which appeared to be extremely destructive. What? With a roar, he pushed out his hands, condescending, and the target was the ruined city below. Anyway, there is no one in this city now. Call out. Kamehameha's energy is very fast, and it has fallen into the ruined city in an instant. Rumble, rumble. The entire ground is shaking violently, even if it is separated by hundreds or even thousands of miles, that kind of ground-shaking power exists. A mushroom cloud soared into the sky, and the sound of the explosion was like thunder, and even more terrifying, covering the world. All go, can I just say it's Sun Gohan. The strike is much more decisive than the current trunks. Seeing the bombing ahead, Yi Feng exclaimed. However, logically speaking, after withstanding such a heavy bombing, the artificial man should not be able to survive, but why is there still a strange feeling? Great, now, the android should turn into ashes, right? Trunks said excitedly watching the explosion. 
he was afraid that the android would run away just now, but brother Gohan is so awesome. It should be over. Call, son Gohan said with a sigh of relief. After so many years, the artificial humans are finally wiped out, will the world finally restore peace in the future? Great, I guess it's time to celebrate. I've thought so for a long time. It's almost starving me. You eliminated the man-made humans. Is this real? At Sidhu Bulma's house, Bulma was stunned when he heard the news of the three of them. It was only one day, and the three of them wiped out the man-made humans that have affected the earth for several years. Naturally, I beat the crap out of the android at the time, and brother Gohan succeeded in destroying it. Trunks said excitedly. Woo, I'm so happy. The man-made humans are finally wiped out, and the earth is finally going to restore peace. Bulma said with tears. Yes, Aunt Bulma. Son Gohan also nodded. Hearing Son Gohan's words, Bulma completely believed what they said. After all, Son Gohan never lied. Great, then we have to tell the whole world the good news quickly, so that everyone won't have to worry about it anymore. That's natural, but, speaking of it, I'm almost starving, is there anything to eat? Although Yi Feng wanted to tell the world, but now he is really hungry. Haven't had a decent meal that year. Some, some, are all ready for you. It's great, I haven't eaten well for more than a year, this time I want to eat enough. Sun Gohan said excitedly when he heard this. As we all know, Saiyan's appetite is beyond the measure of ordinary people, and Bulma has naturally prepared a large table of meals that is enough for a dozen ordinary people to consume. The three of them didn't care about other things, and immediately started to gobble it up. The artificial human incident is finally over, but what should we do next? Should we continue to play in the future world of Dragon Ball or travel to the time and space of Dragon Balls? Yi Feng thought to himself, anyway, Bulma is researching the time machine, he knows this, if he wants to go back to the past, there is nothing wrong with it. After all, in this time and space, it seems that after the artificial man, there will only be strong enemies when the Dragon Ball surpasses it. Of course, that formidable enemy has risen to the level of a god. But for such a long time, if you have been hanging around here, it seems to be a bit drifting with the tide. Yi Feng is here to enjoy delicious food, but on the other side. In the ground, a green monster is carrying two people through it at high speed. Number 17, hey, wake up on the 17th. The seriously injured number 18 woke up first but found that he was actually being carried through the cave by a monster, and the same was true for number 17. But number 17 seems to have passed out. Wrong. It's not just as simple as fainting. Instead, it seems to be, dead. At that time, after number 18 was knocked into the ruins, she seemed to faint. After that, she was dragged underground by the monster early, but number 17 was not so lucky. On the 17th, I didn't expect to suffer a lot of bombing. The energy destructive power of the full power Sun Gohan can be imagined, even if it is only partially destructive, it still makes number 17 lose consciousness directly. Did you, the monster, save me? Number 18 asked. Although he and his brother number 17 have a very good relationship, number 18 in this world is not so hypocritical. If he dies, he will die, okay. That's natural, the monster answered, and then changed direction directly, rushing upwards. Boom, accompanied by the sound of breaking ground, the green monster rushed out of the ground with number 17 and number 18 on its back. At this moment, it seemed that they were no longer within the vicinity of the western capital. At this time, number 18 saw the appearance of this monster clearly. There is a tail with thorns, the whole body is like a green insect, and the face is irregular. Cut, it's really ugly, number 18 said secretly in his heart, but since the other party was able to rescue her in that situation, it showed that the strength of this ugly monster was not simple. As for number 17, it is already lying on the ground, completely lifeless. However, after confirming that the 17th was completely dead on the 18th, there was no such so-called sadness. Who are you? At this time, number 18 looked at the green monster that was difficult to see directly and asked. I'm Cell. Don't worry, number 18. I'm also one of the artificial humans created by Dr. Gru. Cell said with a smile, as if he was a very good person at the moment. However, what number 18 didn't notice was the greed hidden in Cell's eyes. He has been waiting for this opportunity for a long time. Cyborg, 
Why haven't I heard of a cyborg cell like you? Number 18 thought for a while and said, After all, she doesn't have any information about cell in her database. It's easy, because I was done by a machine. At that time, the doctor was dead. Cell replied, But this cell did not lie, he was really made by his machine after Dr. Globo gave the order. So that's it, then, you just saved my life, thank you. Although number 18 killed people like him, but the basic courtesy is still there. However, what number 18 never expected was that at this time, Cell in front of him gradually showed a greedy smile. Gia Gia Gia, I'm not here to save you, I just want to eat you. Nani, hearing this, no 18's face changed suddenly. Didn't expect that the purpose of this ugly monster to save him was to eat him. Is this just out of the tiger's mouth and into the wolf's den? You ugly monster, you want to devour me. Let's see if you have the ability. Now that the matter has reached this point, there is nothing to say. He was killed on the 17th just now, and he was abused a lot, so he was so angry that he had no place to vent his anger. She doesn't think this guy who can only sneak and escape is better than Trunks. As long as she is not stronger than Trunks, then she still has a chance. HMPH, I advise you to stop doing unnecessary resistance, number 18, you are not my opponent. Cell sneered, although he has not yet become a perfect body, he is not a mere number 18 who can beat him. Isn't it? Then you'll know after you fight. What? After number 18 finished speaking, he immediately dodged to approach Cell and slammed a heavy punch on Cell's face. Boom, Cell's body was directly knocked out by number 18 for a distance of several feet. Number 18 thought that Cell was nothing more than that, but gradually, her complexion changed a little. Tisk tisk tisk, number 18, is this your attack? It doesn't hurt at all. Cell said as if nothing happened. The punch of number 18 just now didn't cause any harm to him at all. It's almost like scratching an itch. Nani, how could this be? Number 18 was a little surprised. Is it true that he is not its opponent as the monster said? This unscientific. A day ago, she and number 17 were still the strongest in the world. Why does it feel like any guy can crush her now? HMPH, no reason, number 18, I advise you to obediently become my nourishment, as long as you become my nourishment, I can become the most powerful existence in the world. Cell said very proudly, his tone not a request, but an order. Impossible, go to hell, ugly, number 18 couldn't take it anymore, so he continued to dodge and get close to Cell, and smashed his fists madly at Cell. And Cell didn't dodge or dodge, let alone make a move, allowing No 18's fist to hit it continuously. Clang clang clang. No 18's fist kept falling on the hard outer shell of the Cell, making the sound of metal impacting, and the surrounding air continued to burst into crackling sounds, but it didn't hurt Cell at all. How so? On the 18th, the more he fought, the more frightened he became. The strength in his hands had clearly reached the limit, and he couldn't even hurt Cell at all. Gia Gia Gia, number 18, don't you understand? You are not my opponent at all, stop making unnecessary resistance. Cell taunted with a strange laugh. Drink. Hearing Cell's taunt, number 18 let out a low drink, and immediately opened the distance with Cell with a somersault. I don't believe it, I can't kill you monster. Drink. Number 18 roared angrily and then resorted to the prince's tactics, constantly throwing energy bombs at Cell. HMPH, are you really out of breath? Cell sneered, facing the energy bombs like a meteor shower, he didn't have the slightest worry at all. Rumble, rumble, accompanied by the sound of the explosion, the location of the cell was completely surrounded by thick smoke, and it was impossible to see clearly what was going on inside. Cough, cough, I don't believe it anymore, it's all like this, and you are still unscathed. Number 18 looked at the thick smoke in front of him, panting heavily. However, the next moment, No 18's face gradually became surprised and even panicked. When the smoke cleared, Cell was still unharmed. Gia Gia Gia, how about it? Number 18, don't you understand? Your attacks are all futile. Cell stared at Number 18 with a strange smile, and the greed in his eyes could no longer be concealed. Hateful, number 18 knew something was wrong, and he was indeed not the opponent of this cell, so he made a decisive decision and directly used flying technique to fly towards the distance. Although cell is stronger than her, 
she doesn't think that the monster cell can catch up to her. Gia Gia Gia. Number 18, You Can't Escape. Cell smiled sinisterly, and immediately, he spread his insect-like wings and chased after him with a swipe. Good guy. Having wings is indeed different, it is much faster than simply using the flying technique. Why, number 18, where else do you want to escape to? Just as number 18 flew forward crazily without looking back, Cell's voice sounded in front of number 18. This forced number 18 to stand upright and continue flying in another direction. However, now Cell won't give number 18 any more chances, and immediately came to no 18's side, launching a heavy attack directly. Boom, the body of number 18 fell like a meteorite, hitting the ground heavily. Gia Gia Gia, become my nourishment. Number 18. Before number 18 got up, Cell had already come to her side, and had stretched out his tail to aim at number 18. The powerful suction directly sucked the seriously injured number 18 into his tail. Gulu. In the end, number 18 was swallowed whole, and at this moment, Cell's body gradually changed. Good guy, this time, Cell got rid of the form of an insect. Although he still has a tail, his body is strong and looks closer to a human being. His face starts to look like a human face, with big lips. This is the current Cell. Half full body form. Is this the power of a semi-complete body? I feel that it is simply too strong, and I can completely torture the trunks at that time. What's it like not knowing the real perfect body? Having said that, Cell looked in the direction where the body of number 17 was just now. Hey, number 17, here I come. Cell came to the side of number 17, stretched out its tail directly to aim at number 17, and then began to devour it, because number 17 was completely dead now, so Cell's devouring went smoothly. Gulu, he swallowed number 17 very deliciously, and Cell immediately showed an extremely excited expression. After so much, is Lao Tzu Cell finally going to become a complete body? Ha ha ha, I'm finally going to become the most perfect and strongest warrior in the entire universe, ha ha ha. Cell stretched out his hands, looked up to the sky and laughed, at this moment, he felt that it was really worth it for him to come here. Yes, this Cell is not the Cell of this time and space. In the time and space he is in, the android brothers and sisters were all killed by Trunks. Simply, in a rage, he launched a surprise attack on Cell and killed Trunks, and then came here in Trunks' time machine. Fortunately, he came at the right time, and the number 17 and number 18 of this time and space have not been killed yet. Although number 17 is dead now, his body is still there, and he swallowed it warmly. Just when Cell was very proud and was already thinking about how to abuse Sun Gohan and others later, Cell's smile finally gradually froze. What the hell is going on here? Didn't Lao Tzu already devour number 17? Why has Lao Zi Mao's body not changed yet? I just swallowed the 18th and there was a reaction immediately, but it has been a long time, and there is no reaction yet. Could it be, is it delayed? It's not scientific, old man. No, could it be that I just ate number 18 just now, and now I ate number 17 hungry, causing indigestion? Bitter too, this is not a good thing. No. I have to wait until it's fully digested, what do I have to do? Yes, I should do a set of radio gymnastics to digest and digest. Immediately, Cell had an idea. He needs to digest it well. Then, there was the scene of Cell doing radio gymnastics, but unfortunately, Cell did the radio gymnastics for three hours, and he didn't feel any changes in his body. What the hell am I? Ah, it's useless at all. Good, good, Trunks, you killed number 17, and made me do three hours of radio gymnastics here for nothing. Cell yelled, looking up to the sky, endless anger is constantly burning. Now he really wants to kill Trunks and Sun Gohan, but he has not turned into a full body form, which makes him a little afraid of the strength of Trunks and Sun Gohan. Trunks can completely abuse android siblings with only one person, wouldn't Sun Gohan be stronger, if he faced the last one alone? Maybe he didn't have any worries in Cell, but if the two teamed up, maybe he could only escape die. It's unlucky to be on a horse. Can I just use the time machine again? Although he was a bit reluctant, he had to do this if he wanted to obtain a perfect body. It seemed that there was no other way. However, before that, it seems that there is one more thing to do here. Thinking of this, 
Cell directly resorted to flying technique and flew towards the distance. This is an island in the south. The city on the island has been torn apart, and there are ruins and buildings everywhere. Cell flew over here without any movement in his eyes. This city was not his goal. Continue to use flying technique to come to the mountains, relying on memory, he finally found the hidden cave. That's right, this is the secret base of Dr. J. Luo, the birthplace of artificial humans. And the target of Cell is the Cell of this time and space. He's going to do something crazy. Entering the base, it seems that all the facilities inside were destroyed by number 17 in number. 18. But Cell came out of this base, so how could he not know the mystery hidden here? HMPH, it seems that these two siblings are really good at doing things, and they actually killed the doctor. Cell muttered to himself while standing in the dilapidated and dusty base. Based on memory, Cell found the hidden switch, which was the entrance switch leading to the bottom of the base. Turn on the switch, and the entrance to the ground appears directly in the middle of the base, even if you walk in. Good guy, only Cell knows that there is another base hidden almost a thousand meters below the base. There are large machines in operation here, and tiny machines are flying around, constantly feeding the people here. Equipment provides information, and these tiny machines are constantly obtaining cells and information from the outside world to create cells. In the center of the base, there is a huge life chamber, and in the life chamber, there are things similar to dinosaur eggs. Obviously, there is life in this giant egg. Cell looked at the giant egg in the life chamber and murmured, unexpectedly, it's almost finished. That's right, what is inside this dome is the self of this time and space. Since I can't become a perfect body here, I don't know what will happen to myself who swallowed up this time and space. Gia Gia Gia. Boom. Cell directly punched the life chamber. Immediately, the entire life chamber was filled with cracks. With the sound of crack, the entire life chamber was shattered, and the liquid inside kept pouring out. Looking at the egg in front of him, Cell's eyes are full of greed and desire, he wants to devour himself. That's right, Lao Tzu is the one who eats himself when he becomes so ruthless. He stretched out his finger and flicked on the egg lightly. He didn't dare to use force, otherwise it would be bad if he directly destroyed the egg. Crack, the eggshell was full of cracks, and then, the whole thing shattered, and a green insect-like monster appeared in front of my eyes. Needless to say, this is the cell of this time and space, but it should not have much time to hatch automatically, but because of the cell, let it debut early. The two monsters looked at each other, and suddenly, the newly hatched cell, which looked like an insect, panicked. Who is this guy in front of you? Why does Mao feel familiar? And why did Lousy make an early appearance? This atmosphere feels bad. Cell, let's be my nourishment obediently. Cell sneered, not giving the cell who had just appeared any chance at all, and pointed at Cell by sticking out his tail. Is this going to devour Lao Tzu? I slip. Cell, who just debuted, feels bad, and even wants to run away. However, how can Cell, who has been prepared for a long time, give Cell this opportunity? Straight out the tail and suck the Cell in. Gulu. It's done. This is a living Cell. Immediately, Cell's eyes widened, and a wonderful feeling came from his body continuously, and powerful energy spread all over his body in an instant. This is, power, endless power, not good. I can't control my breath anymore. The current cell feels very painful, of course, it's not the kind of stomach ache from eating bad food. But the whole body is in pain. Heart-piercing pain. Didn't his grandma just devour him? What is this pain? But the pain is pain but there is a steady stream of energy being released in the body, spreading all over the body. The berserk energy kept pouring out of cell, he couldn't hold it back anymore, he was going to explode. Rumble, rumble. Immediately, a shocking explosion occurred at the base, thick smoke rose into the sky, this explosion affected the island, and the entire island shook violently as if a major earthquake had occurred. Cell rushed out of the smoke and was suspended in the sky. His body that devoured him didn't change much, but his strength had improved a lot. The feeling of pain has completely disappeared, Cell now feels that his life has reached the pinnacle, looking at his hands in surprise. That's right, this is the power he wants. Power enough to surpass all living beings. Gia Gia Gia, now I feel that every cell in my body is full of power. 
although it has not become a perfect body, but with this power, it shouldn't be much different, right? Ha ha ha, I, Cell, are such a genius, I actually thought of devouring myself. HMPH, now it's time for revenge, Trunks, you actually killed number 17, so that I can't become a perfect body, I must tear you apart to vent my anger. Cell looked angrily in the distance said, the aura on his body swelled to the extreme. He might still be jealous of Trunks and others before, so he didn't dare to release his aura, but now, he no longer needs to hide, no need to hide. After killing Trunks, Sun Gohan and others, use the time machine to go back to the time and space where number 17 still exists, devour number 17, and then devour yourself in that time and space, you will definitely get stronger power. Cell has made up his mind. Just do it. Gia Gia Gia. Trunks, Sun Gohan, you wait, your master Cell is here. Woohoo. Cell let out a strange cry, and his body seemed to be loaded with springs, and he shot towards the distance in an instant. At this moment, Sun Gohan and others who were in the western capital felt this shocking breath, and they couldn't help but stop practicing. This, so powerful Chi. Looking at the distance, Sun Gohan muttered with a serious face, how could there be such a strong person in this world besides the three of them? Brother Gohan, this breath is so strange. Trunks also said with a frown. Yi Feng was also amazed, the androids were wiped out, yet such a powerful chi appeared. Could it be, that guy? This breath is moving at high speed, and the target seems to be our western city. Sun Gohan asked in surprise. This is terrible, such an evil and powerful chi is approaching this city, there must be nothing good. No, we have to stop this guy from coming here. After Sun Gohan finished speaking, he immediately used flying technique and flew out. Wait for me, brother Gohan, I'll go too. Trunks also used flying technique to keep up with Sun Gohan's pace. Go ahead, it's boring now anyway. Yi Feng shrugged and said, he wanted to see who the guy with such a powerful aura was. Above the ruined city, the four of them finally met, Yi Feng, Sun Gohan and Trunks on one side, and the burly green cell on the other side. Who are you? Sun Gohan pointed to the unfriendly cell and said, Anyway, looking at Cell's appearance, he knows that this guy is definitely not a good person. Trunks next to him also frowned, because he could feel the strong sense of oppression on the green guy in front of him. Is it really Cell? It's just that this guy doesn't seem to be a complete body yet, why does Mao have such a powerful power? Looking at it like this, it seems to have devoured one of the artificial humans, right? Good guy. This corpse thief. Hey, Sun Gohan. Trunks, hello, now that we meet, let me introduce myself briefly. I, Cell, the strongest artificial human made by Dr. J. Luo. Cell said extremely coldly. Nani, cyborg, hearing this, both Sun Gohan and Trunks froze for a moment, and then the anger in their eyes continued to burn. Unexpectedly, besides number 17 and number 18, there are other androids. However, no matter who he is, as long as he is an artificial human, there is no good thing. At least, Sun Gohan and Trunks think so. So, the memorial day for the three of you will be next year's day. Cell said confidently with his hands folded around his chest. Man-made man, take your life. When Trunks heard that Cell was an artificial human, the anger in his heart burned to the extreme. At this moment, when he heard Cell's taunt, he rushed up directly. It is tolerable or unbearable. Little artificial man. Take your life. Shua. The moment he rushed over, Trunks' body was already ablaze with golden flames, turning into a super saiyan. The furious fist hit Cell's face like a thunderbolt. Clang. There was a huge impact sound, and Trunks felt as if his fist had landed on steel, and his hand was even more painful. Even more surprising. His such a violent punch, a super saiyan punch, a punch full of power unexpectedly failed to shake the cell. How come? Even Sun Gohan was stunned, the strength of this artificial human is higher than that of number 17 in number. 18. What? Trunks, do you only have this strength? Cell said disdainfully, still clasping his arms around his chest, not intending to make a move. Nani, stop looking down on people. Hearing Cell's taunt, he fueled Trunks' anger directly, and threw out both fists, constantly hitting Cell. Bang bang bang. In just a few seconds, Trunks has thrown dozens of punches almost back and forth. However, the result is still the same. 
Cell is like a mountain, it can't shake him at all. How is this possible? Trunks also realized the seriousness of the matter, so he jumped back and pulled tens of meters away from Cell. Now Trunks has calmed down, the guy in front of him is not at the same level as the android siblings in front of him. But, why does Mao have such a powerful existence? I don't believe it anymore, give me a trick. Trunks slowly put his hands together on his waist, between the hands, the white energy is constantly expanding. Kamehameha, drink, ah, aim at the cell, blast out wildly, and the white beam of energy sweeps across with the momentum of thunder. HMPH, what a trick. Facing Kamehameha of Trunks, Cell showed a disdainful smile, and the moment the energy beam of light approached him, Cell directly punched out frantically. Boom, awesome, Trunks was dumbfounded, Sun Gohan was also dumbfounded. Only Yi Feng was not dumbfounded. Cell actually knocked out the Kamehameha launched by Trunks with one punch, this is the first time I have seen such a scene. What's even more annoying is that Cell is still unscathed. Riding on a horse, do you want to go too far? I don't know what kind of adventure Cell has encountered. He is so strong before he becomes a perfect body. Then if he becomes a perfect body, he will be so cool and amazed. Yi Feng was also surprised, not because he was afraid of Cell. Strength, mainly because I can't figure it out, why Mao Cell can reach this level. I don't believe it anymore, keep going. Trunks roared angrily, and immediately after that, he used the prince's fighting method and frantically threw energy bombs at Cell. He wanted to see if Cell could explode so many energy bombs. Rumble, rumble, accompanied by the explosion that resounded through the sky, the thick smoke directly engulfed Cell's body. Cough, cough, I don't believe it anymore, with this destructive power, are you still acting brave? Trunks gasped as he watched the explosion in front of him. However, the next moment, Trunks continued to be dumbfounded. What is this? The smoke dissipated, revealing Cell's body, except for some more smoke and dust on his body, this guy was unscathed. I just want to say, everyone present. It's all rubbish. Cell swelled to the extreme, in his eyes, no one in this world is his opponent anymore, maybe that Sun Gohan might fight him twice, but the result is the same. As for Yi Feng, feel sorry, there is no such number one person in the data, and he is probably just a soy sauce passerby. Chapter 21. Hateful. I killed you. Hearing Cell's taunt, Trunks was about to rush up to fight Cell again, but was stopped by Sun Gohan. You are no match for him. Let me do it. Sun Gohan said in a deep voice that at this moment he has become a Super Saiyan form. Unlike Trunks, Sun Gohan's Super Saiyan form is particularly calm. That's right. Super Saiyan at full power. Okay, Brother Gohan, teach him how to be a man. Trunks said helplessly, although he was a bit unwilling, but from the fight just now, he could see that he was definitely not Cell's opponent. This is something to watch. Yi Feng murmured, to be honest, he also wanted to see if Sun Gohan at full power could beat this mutated Cell. Cell and Sun Gohan confront each other, swords drawn. You're kind of interesting, maybe you can give me a hand addiction. Cell looked at Sun Gohan in front of him and sneered. But more than that, I will kill you. Sun Gohan said coldly, the anger in his eyes was already burning. All androids should die. This is the belief imprinted in Sun Gohan's heart all these years. You can say what you want. Anyway, you are not my opponent. Cell finally waved his hand and said, he didn't pay attention to Sun Gohan at all. You will pay for what you say. After Sun Gohan finished speaking, his eyes flashed, and his figure disappeared like a ghost. When Sun Gohan reappeared, he was already in front of Cell, and he punched Cell hard in the chest. Boom, hammer Cell. At that moment, Cell couldn't help but widen his eyes. There's something about this Sun Gohan. I lost it. Call out. Due to Cell's arrogance, he forcibly withstood Sun Gohan's crazy punch, and his body was blasted tens of meters away before stopping. The chest is still aching. Cell didn't dare to underestimate Sun Gohan anymore. Dare to love this young man has something. Looks like I'm getting serious. Cell said seriously. Accept it. Sun Gohan didn't care if what Cell said was serious or not, he just went straight to it, approached Cell like lightning, and punched again. It's just that this time Cell is prepared, so it is naturally impossible to let Sun Gohan's attack fall on him, so he hastened to attack and confront Sun Gohan. Boom, 
The moment the two fists collided, a powerful shock wave spread around the two of them, spreading thousands of miles away. Even Trunks was affected, and they were forced to stabilize so that they were not taken away. Of course, Yi Feng said that he was not affected at all. When this punch came down, it was obvious that Cell had the upper hand, and Sun Gohan was thrown a long distance away. Is this the gap? Even after cultivating to this level, it still doesn't work. Boy, you have something, go ahead, ha ha ha. Cell laughed loudly, and punched Sun Gohan, which directly ignited his desire to fight. After all, he's a multicellular creature. There are Saiyan cells in his body. A violent impact came, and then, fists turned into claws, like a hungry wolf rushing for food, very fast. Nani, this move is. Sun Gohan seemed to see the shadow of the past, but he didn't have time to think about it, so he could only launch an attack to resist Cell. Laugh. Sun Gohan finally found out that Dare Cell is actually using Yamcha's new spike wind fist. Between the moves, it is as fierce as a hungry wolf, and its speed is extremely fast, it is simply a melee artifact. But Sun Gohan has also learned it, and also changed his fighting style, fighting with the new spike wind fist. Bang bang bang. Both of them used the same move, and immediately, the entire sky was filled with afterimages of the two, the speed was too fast, and the moment of the move was hard to catch with the naked eye. I wipe. Could it be that I'm blind? How did I see two hungry wolves fighting? Trunks rubbed his eyes and said. The speed of the two became faster and stronger, and their strength became stronger and stronger. In the end, the whole air was constantly making sonic booms, which was very ear-piercing. Sun Gohan is indeed Sun Gohan, with Super Saiyan full power form, it is only a little bit worse than the enhanced version of Cell. Cell also discovered this. This is not scientific. This Sun Gohan is also Super Saiyan, why is Mao so strong? No, the scourge of Sun Gohan has to be solved, otherwise it will continue to grow. That's okay. Thinking of this, Cell increased the strength in his hand, using 100% of his own strength, and his moves became more fierce, like a sharp blade, constantly attacking. This time, Sun Gohan, who had been fighting back and forth with Cell just now, cried out inwardly, what brand of monster is this Cell? So strong, Sun Gohan, can't you? All you. After the ridicule, Cell seized the opportunity and punched Sun Gohan in the chest. Immediately afterwards, he stood up and swept over with a whip kick. Boom, Sun Gohan's body fell like a meteorite, and quickly hit the ruins below. Woohoo, you can't do it, Sun Gohan. Cell put his hands on his hips, looked down at the ruins below and mocked. Nani, even brother Gohan. Sun Gohan was knocked into the rubble, and Trunks was a little anxious. Where did this artificial human come from? It's so strong. It's not over yet. At the moment when Cell was proud, Sun Gohan's voice suddenly came from the ruins below. Before Cell could see clearly, Sun Gohan had already come to his side, and punched Cell's face frantically. Puff! Under this punch, Cell's invincible face seemed to be distorted. Riding on a horse, Cell said that the brain is buzzing. All of a sudden, he was beaten into a circle. And Sun Gohan naturally couldn't give Cell a chance to breathe, the golden energy in his palm was surging, and immediately, it was placed on Cell's chest. Boom, the energy exploded in an instant, and flew towards the distance with Cell's body. Rumble, rumble, there was a huge explosion, and countless ruins were blown into the air and danced recklessly. The small mushroom cloud rose into the sky, and Cell seemed to be swallowed by the explosion. It's done. Trunks turned from worry to excitement just now, as expected of Sun Gohan, the shot is so strong. Cough, cough, I'm afraid it won't work. Panting heavily, Sun Gohan murmured while looking at the direction of the explosion. My physical strength is still consumed a lot. Moreover, just now, I took advantage of Cell's carelessness and succeeded in sneak attacking. In the real situation, compared with Cell, I am much worse. Sun Gohan, you little hot chick. You don't talk about martial arts, you. A sneak attack, I advise you to drink rat tail juice. Cell's voice came out of the smoke like a bell. Obviously, the fact that the voice can still be so powerful is enough to show that Cell is fine. It's really bad luck, just sent away the android siblings, and suddenly such a monster came. And you can still fight like this. Sun Gohan spat and said, obviously, he has hated the artificial man to the extreme. 
Before the smoke dissipated, Cell rushed out again. However, this time, Cell was not as unscathed as before. It seemed that he had suffered some minor injuries, although these minor injuries could not affect Cell at all. Up. It's interesting. Yi Feng folded his arms around his chest, and said interestingly, never thought that Cell, who has not reached the full body, can fight so well. I didn't expect it, my family. Sun Gohan, you guys actually engaged in a sneak attack. Cell came to Sun Gohan, patted the dust on his body, and then pointed at Sun Gohan angrily and said. To deal with cyborgs, don't care about sneak attacks or not. Take it, Cell. Anger flashed in Sun Gohan's eyes, and the arrogance around him was constantly burning. Then, like a wild beast, he rushed towards Cell. Come on, you sneaky little thing. Cell disdainfully said, what kind of skill is relying on sneak attack? Later I will teach you how to be a man. Whoosh. The two figures collided again like meteors, and the sound of the explosion made the surrounding air vibrate non-stop. Having reached this point, the two of them didn't try too much at all, and they came up directly to launch the most fierce attack. They have only one idea, and that is to kill each other. Bang bang bang. Bang bang bang. The two hit the ground from the sky, then hit the river from the ground, and then rushed out of the river to continue colliding at high altitudes. Almost within a hundred miles of this area, the two were fighting. Key blast flies around, wherever it passes, it will definitely cause bombing. Fortunately, there are no human beings in the place where the battle is now, otherwise it will inevitably be affected by the battle between the two. It's, so shocking, is this the duel of the strong? Trunks opened his mouth wide in surprise, he could almost stuff a basketball into it. He only now realizes how big the gap between himself and Sun Gohan is. Dare to love is not a level of existence at all. It's not bad, Yi Feng nodded and said, but for a guy like him with a normal combat power of 20 billion, it's simply too childish. Not worth mentioning at all. However, it is also good to watch it as a drama when you are idle and bored. After all, the semi-complete body of this mutated version of Cell was slightly better and gradually gained the upper hand again. Good guy, I really don't know how this guy got this power, I'm afraid it's not much different from the real perfect body. Yi Feng murmured in his heart. Sun Gohan, you punched me. Cell yelled angrily, grabbed Sun Gohan's flaws, and punched Sun Gohan with another punch. Immediately afterwards, the energy of a magic flash engulfed Sun Gohan's body. Don't ask why Cell uses magic flash, just ask Cell to give you a magic light to kill. Rumble. This huge explosion directly shook the ground violently within a hundred miles, and the thick smoke engulfed everything, and you couldn't see your fingers, and the dark sky was talking about this moment. Brother Gohan, Trunks said anxiously, he didn't expect this cell to be so capable, and he overthrew Sun Gohan again. Gia Gia Gia, Sun Gohan, you finally know how powerful you are, Master Cell. Ha ha ha, looking at Sun Gohan who was engulfed by the explosion, Cell finally laughed unscrupulously, only Sun Gohan can fight a little. But so what, wasn't it overturned by Lao Tzu Cell? Tut tut tut, this is the gap, so obvious, there is simply no opponent. At this moment, the Cell is extremely inflated, but what he wants to say is that he is amazing, he can't do without inflating. I said, it's almost done, Cell. Just when Cell was extremely proud and enjoying the sense of superiority brought by invincibility, a discordant voice directly interrupted Cell. Riding on a horse, Cell frowned, who the hell is that who dares to provoke you, Master Cell? Could it be that the old birthday star eats arsenic and thinks his life will be long? You know, since I debuted, this is the first time I have felt such an unprecedented sense of superiority. Even a strong man like Sun Gohan is just his own defeat. How could someone provoke Lao Tzu at this juncture? It is good, very good. I want to see, which fool is it who wants to die? Cell turned around and saw Yi Feng had come behind him. Oh it's you, which brand of garbage are you? Cell's exit is extremely arrogant, after all, his current strength is indeed worthy of his arrogance and domineering. As for Yi Feng, Cell said that there is no such number one person in his data. I guess it's a soy sauce roll, right? Now the soy sauce characters dare to provoke Lao Tzu. It's the other way around. I definitely can't kill Yi Feng directly later, but slowly torture him, let him know how serious the fate of provoking Master Cell is. Hehe, he, 
I didn't expect you to be so arrogant. Yi Feng smiled and said, according to the plot, although Cell is hateful, he can't be so arrogant, right? Arrogance. What's wrong with me being arrogant? Because I'm awesome. Cell became even more arrogant when he heard Yi Feng's words, he was proud, he was inflated. Good guy. As expected of you. Yi Feng shrugged his shoulders and said that he had never seen Cell so arrogant on TV, but now he saw a version of Cell with mutated strength and an even more arrogant personality. HMPH, you, a little soy sauce character, dare to talk to me like that, see if I don't teach you a lesson. Cell has already made up his mind, let Yi Feng experience the feeling of living but not dying. See that fist, wait a while and I'll break your bones. Cell said while stretching out his fist to show Yi Feng. Hey, don't just know how to fart there. Yi Feng didn't expect Cell to become a chatterbox. I am a good boy. Court death. Yi Feng's words completely aroused the idea of Cell wanting to kill Yi Feng. In his eyes, Yi Feng is just an ordinary person. He's still pretending here. See if I don't beat you to death. He approached Yi Feng as fast as he could, but he didn't see Cell making any fancy movements. He clenched his fist and threw it at Yi Feng. At everyone's level, the redundant attack moves seem gimmicky, only big fists are the last word. Gia Gia Gia. Boy, die at the hands of my cell, you should be proud enough. The moment he swung his fist, Cell showed a cruel smile, saying that Yi Feng is dead, there can be absolutely no accidents. Boom. However, at the next moment, Cell was dumbfounded, and the cruel smile gradually froze, replaced by surprise and disbelief. That kid Yi Feng actually caught his fist. It's okay to catch it, and it seems an understatement. How can that be? This guy Yi Feng doesn't even have data. He is definitely an ordinary person, at most he is an ordinary person who has practiced, why can he block the fist of Lao Tzu, the most perfect fighter in the universe? Could it be that I forgot to wash my hands when I went to the toilet? Otherwise, why are hands so smelly? I beat you to death. Cell shouted angrily, withdrew his fist and punched violently again, this punch was stronger and faster than the previous one. He was actually blocked by Yi Feng just now, which made Cell feel very ashamed. Boom. However, the same thing happened again, when Cell's fist approached Yi Feng, Yi Feng took it lightly again. This time, Cell opened his mouth wide with surprise on his face, he could almost stuff a basketball into it. This kid, actually blocked his attack, why is that? HMPH, Cell, you're hanging on, I'm going to kill you. Yi Feng stretched out his other hand and slapped it hard. Snapped, good guy. This slap sounded crisply, and then resounded through the sky, and the powerful force made Cell even more confused on the spot. Who I am? Where am I? With just one slap, Cell's body turned into a fired bullet and shot out fiercely, finally crashing into the ruins in front of him. Cough, cough, Yi Feng, how strong is he? At this moment, Sun Gohan has crawled out of the ruins and chose a suitable position to watch the duel between Yi Feng and Cell, although he suffered a lot of injuries, but overall, no major harm. The slap just now also made Trunks and Sun Gohan dumbfounded on the spot. Is this okay too? With just one slap, the cell that crushed the two of them was sent flying. What the hell is this strength? In just one year, Yi Feng has reached this level. Is there still a law? Is there still a law? Originally, he wanted to beat Yi Feng with one punch, and wanted to let them know that the most perfect and strongest fighter in the universe should not be messed with, but Cell was obviously a bit unlucky. He was slapped away by Yi Feng, and his mother's teeth fell out, and bright red blood flowed out of his mouth continuously. Cell crawled out from the ruins, his eyes full of resentment. Shame, I met such a pervert as Yi Feng just after his debut. However, he still couldn't accept the fact that it would be fine if he was beaten like this by Sun Gohan and others, but why would he be beaten like this by a guy with no data? Could it be that I am dreaming? Wrong. If it was a dream, why would it hurt so much? It's really boring, I thought you could let me play better. Yi Feng looked at the embarrassed Cell, shook his head and said. No way, who let himself now have the power of Gogeta? Apart from the difference in appearance, his potential talent and blood are all exactly the same as Gogeta. Yi Feng finally experienced the feeling of being overwhelmed by the heights. Really, being strong is awesome, but the feeling of pretending is not bad. I like it. You boy, don't get carried away. Get out of here, old man. Sky Cannon. 
Hearing Yi Feng's words, Cell added fuel to his already angry anger, and he wanted to let Yi Feng know that in front of Cell, there is a price to be paid for pretending. The hands are gathered together, white energy is flashing in the hands, and the eyes are fixedly staring at Yi Feng above. If the eyes can kill people, it is estimated that Yi Feng has been slaughtered by Cell hundreds of millions of times. Unfortunately, this is impossible. Take your life. Roar. Under Cell's heart piercing roar, the white energy in his hand exploded instantly, turning into a white beam of light, and violently swept towards Yi Feng above. Seeing Cell's energy cannon, Yi Feng couldn't help but raise the corners of his mouth, his body instinctively told him that Cell's first move was completely vulnerable to him. When the energy approached him, Yi Feng turned over and kicked, like kicking a football, and kicked Cell's energy cannon. Cell's eyes widened, and the shock in his eyes had reached the extreme. What did he see? Yi Feng actually kicked his energy cannon back, is that okay? Regardless of the pain caused by the injuries on his body, Cell directly rose from the ground and rushed towards the sky. Joke, he's not Yi Feng, but he can't kick the energy cannon away. The moment Cell took off, energy fell beside him, and immediately after that, it emitted an extremely dazzling light. Rumble, a gray mushroom cloud soared into the sky, and the resulting air flow spread wildly towards the surroundings in an instant, and countless ruins were shaken up. The moment they touched the air flow, they were all turned into dust in the air. Yi Feng is too strong. Too strong, indescribable. Trunks said in disbelief. He squeezed his butt hard with his hands, and felt a strong pain, which made him realize that what happened before him was not a dream at all. The strong wind blew past, causing the smoke to dissipate quickly, and Cell's body reappeared. Good guy. This guy is actually in a panic now. Although he tried his best to escape just now, the energy still bombarded his legs. At this moment, Cell collapsed to the ground with only one leg left. Great. Cell has become disabled, so he can no longer be a threat. Seeing this scene, Sun Gohan was pleasantly surprised. Trunks also nodded excitedly. Really, it's still Yi Feng, who broke a leg of Cell, who was still arrogant and domineering, so quickly. It's amazing. Ah, Cell howled in pain, although he has Piccolo's regeneration, it doesn't mean he can't feel pain. Chila, just when Sun Gohan and Trunks were happy and thought everything was over, something that shocked them happened again. Amidst Cell's painful wailing, this guy actually grew a leg again, and then stood up. How can that be? Seeing this scene, even Sun Gohan rubbed his eyes, thinking he was wrong. But after watching it several times, he realized that what happened in front of him was real, Cell actually had the same regeneration technique as Namek. Gia Gia Gia, Cell wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth, and under such circumstances, he could still show a cruel smile. Didn't expect that, you must be surprised, right? Think you can end this battle by crippling me? Tell you, it's impossible. My cell is the cell of many fighters, including the cell of that guy Piccolo, so I have the regeneration technique, so I can't die, ha ha ha. Cell was beaten very painfully by Yi Feng just now, he already hated Yi Feng to the extreme, so now even if there is something that can make Yi Feng feel scared, Cell feels excited. So, can you beat me? Yi Feng looked at Cell who looked like a fool and taunted. You, stop looking down on people. I am the strongest warrior. Cell was aroused by Yi Feng's ridicule, and the sense of superiority he had just gained gradually turned into endless anger. Shame, being ridiculed again, I, Cell, can't bear this face. Whoosh, Cell flew into the sky again and confronted Yi Feng, he couldn't believe it, his majestic Cell would lose to this guy Yi Feng. Nani, Cell actually has the cells of many soldiers. No wonder, what Cell said just now made Sun Gohan finally understand. No wonder Cell can use those moves, no wonder Cell can be reborn with severed limbs, that's how it is. If this is the case, it will be a little troublesome, I hope Yi Feng can kill Cell. I'm fighting with you. What? Cell let out an angry roar, and the surrounding air was constantly vibrating. With the help of this momentum, Cell charged towards Yi Feng again. You're really stupid and have no medicine. Yi Feng shook his head when he saw that Cell, a strong man, dared to rush forward without fear of death. Facing Cell's fist, Yi Feng said that he didn't even bother to block, and with a dodge, he perfectly dodged Cell's attack. One punch failed, it is absolutely impossible for Cell not to give up. 
he is inspired to become the strongest man in the universe. Boom, he punched him again, but the result was still the same, Cell couldn't attack Yifang at all, and once again missed perfectly. The unbelieving Cell kept approaching and attacking Yifang crazily. The powerful force almost exploded the air, but he still couldn't touch the corner of Yifang's clothes. Wow, I'm furious, don't hide if you have the ability. Cell roared angrily, it's so irritating, does this Yifang only know how to hide? It's so uncomfortable that I can't attack Yifang after so many attacks. That's because your speed is too slow, Cell. Yifang said disdainfully. Indeed, for him with a normal combat power of 20 billion, these movements of Cell are as slow as snails in his eyes, full of loopholes, isn't it too easy to avoid? Are you insulting me? Wow, hearing Yifang's words, Cell was almost insane and attacked Yifang frantically. However, Yi Feng was still able to easily dodge Cell's attack, seize the opportunity, and kicked Cell in the chest. I lost it. The powerful force immediately turned Cell into a flying fire meteor and flew towards the distance. However, Yi Feng naturally couldn't just take the Cell so cheaply, catch up to Cell at a faster speed, and then grabbed Cell's leg. It smashed hard towards the ground below. Boom, accompanied by a huge roar. Cell's body was smashed heavily on the ground, and immediately, the entire ground was smashed into cracks. It's not over yet. He picked it up and continued to smash it, repeating this more than ten times, Cell was directly smashed, foaming at the mouth, staring at the eyes. Cut, it's really useless. Looking at the dying Cell, Yi Feng shook his head and said, when he even threw Cell's body high into the sky, he stretched out his palm and aimed at Cell in the sky. Time to fix the scourge of Cell. Although it is impossible for this guy to be his opponent, isn't the existence of such a guy with great potential a threat to him. However, when they reached the commanding heights, Cell, who was dying, forcibly stabilized his figure. At this moment, blood was flowing out of him all over his body, and he was in such a state of embarrassment that he was almost beaten to death by Yi Feng. It's disgusting, this guy. Cell said inwardly, at this moment, his sanity finally came back, and he finally realized a fact that he didn't want to accept. That is Yi Feng is too strong. It is impossible for me to be an opponent of this guy before I become a complete body. Nani, not good. Cell's eyes widened immediately, and he realized that Yi Feng had stretched out his palm to point at him. Suddenly, his back felt cold continuously, and his body was shaking violently. Too frightening. Is my father going to be cold? No, I haven't become a perfect body yet, I haven't become the strongest man in the entire universe, how can I die? At this time, Cell saw the scorching sun above his head, and immediately had an idea in his mind, and saw Cell spread his hands up and place them on the left and right foreheads, and Cell yelled, Solar Flare. Cell, at that moment, the sun behind the Cell shone brightly, covering the entire space, everything turned into pure white, and the sun's rays bloomed like a substance. Solar Flare, this thing is a move of Tian Shinhan. It directly ignores the level of the move. It is used as an auxiliary. It is not too cool. I forgot that Cell also has Tian Shinhan cells, so naturally it will also have Solar Flare. Not only Yi Feng, but also Sun Gohan and Trunks, who were watching the match, were affected. They were blinded by the strong sun's rays. It's Solar Flare. Not good, Sun Gohan said aloud with his eyes closed. Great opportunity, if I don't run away, I'm going to die here today. Cell said inwardly, he doesn't dare to fight now, so let's run away quickly. I'm not afraid of running out of firewood to keep the green hills here, and I'll deal with you when I become a perfect body. Thinking of this, Cell directly suppressed his aura, and used all his flying technique to fly into the distance. When the sun's rays faded and he was able to open his eyes, Yi Feng discovered that Cell had already slipped away. Only, did you run away? You, although Cell is already burning his energy and using flying technique to escape, he seems to have overlooked one point, Yi Feng's strength is far above him, and the speed is naturally the same. Call out, Yi Feng also resorted to flying technique to catch up with this cunning Cell. I have to say, it's amazing that Cell can think of solar flare at a critical moment. It's a pity, no matter how fast you are, can you be as fast as Lao Tzu? Let's see if I don't use 20 billion combat power to catch up with you, let's see how far you can run. Trunks, let's follow, Sun Gohan said to Trunks. 
Although the strength of the two is not as good as Yi Feng, the opponent is an artificial human after all. If they cannot be eliminated, the threat to the earth is too great. Sal didn't know how much he flew out, but he felt that he had used all his energy for flying, maintaining this speed and burning continuously. Hey, he probably won't be able to catch up this time. Sal looked back, but didn't find that Yi Feng was catching up, and he was secretly relieved. Since my debut, I have never been so embarrassed. In another time and space, the trunks were all killed by me. I didn't expect to come here, and I devoured the cells here. After devouring the 18th, I was beaten so embarrassingly. Thinking of this, Cell can't wait to beat Yi Feng up. Wait, then, Yi Feng, when I become a perfect body, then, watch how I beat you. Cell has already decided in his heart, after escaping, he must first develop wretchedly and become a complete body. He has always believed that his complete body form is the most powerful existence in the universe, after all, it is the result of computer data analysis. Yo, running so fast, where do you want to go? Just as Cell was rushing forward frantically, Yi Feng's voice came from in front of him. Call, fortunately, it's just ahead. Nani. Ahead, Cell forcibly stopped the flight, and saw that Yi Feng was already waiting for him in front of him. Riding on a horse. How is this kid so fast? Run, Cell, you keep running, let's see where you can go. Yi Feng looked at Cell and sneered, how dare this Cell use solar flare? I don't know how to live or die. How could his speed be comparable to Cell? You thought you could escape by burning energy, right? See if I don't beat you to death today. Asshole. Don't bully people too much. I am Cell. Cell pointed at Yi Feng and roared, he was really scared, it doesn't matter if Yi Feng can fight, but his speed is so fast. Son, Cell raised his hand, wanting to repeat the trick, using solar flare. I am your sister. Boom, puff, it's a pity that Yi Feng punched Cell in the face before he could utter the words. You don't talk about martial arts. You sneak attack you. Can't you afford it? Cell covered his face in pain and roared angrily, it's fine to sneak attack, but to hit Lao Su's handsome face, it's too hateful. However, Yi Feng didn't intend to give Cell this chance, he kept pumping his fists up, Cell was a little confused, but Yi Feng didn't even give him time to breathe, so he just slammed him up, good guy, now, his majestic Cell has become Yi Feng's sandbag. I let you use solar flare. I let you escape. I'll make you whole. Yi Feng roared, and his fists kept hitting Cell's body, the sound of collision resounded throughout the sky. Cell is miserable, it's just horrible now. Howling in pain, in front of a strong man of Yi Feng's level, there was almost no chance to fight back, and he directly hit the ground from the sky forcefully. Boom, 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 Cell's body had already sunk into the ground, but Yi Feng still didn't want to stop, the fist smashed down like crazy. Soon, Cell's whole person can only be described by the word bloody and bloody. At this moment, Sun Gohan and Trunks also rushed here, just in time for this scene. Gulu. Both of them swallowed hard, seeing the bloody cell, they couldn't help silently mourning for cell. When did this kid Yi Feng become so vicious? This style of play, even the two Super Saiyans can only sigh to themselves. Cell, reincarnate to be a good person in your next life, don't run into Yi Feng again. It's brutal. Tai Nima is cruel. Cell really wants to beg for mercy now. This Yi Feng is simply a ruthless character. It's fine if you step on the horse and give me an energy bomb, but he still keeps attacking with his fists. Young people don't talk about wood. Help. Finally, when Cell was really dying, Yi Feng stopped and looked at his fist. Good guy, it's already covered in blood. Look at Cell again, this guy has been beaten so hard that he can hardly see who it is. You. Dot you. Don't. Kill. Cell's teeth have been knocked out a lot, and his mouth is full of blood. What he said is already slurring his words. But Yi Feng still heard clearly. Excuse me, do you think it's possible? Destroy, sell, reincarnate to be a good person in the next life. After saying that, Yi Feng used the flying technique to enter the air, and the energy in his hands was already shining continuously. The energy bomb fell like a meteorite and quickly hit Cell's body. Immediately afterwards, the whole earth began to shake violently, Mushroom clouds rose into the sky, and countless rubbles flew around. Rumble, rumble, the sound of the explosion was deafening, resounding through the entire world. Ah, 
It's simply too cruel, too cruel. Sun Gohan and Trunks haven't regained their senses until now, they were completely shocked by Yi Feng's cruel behavior just now. Now, Cell should be cool, right? I didn't expect this guy to appear in advance, and it can also swallow number 18 to become a semi-complete body, which is a bit unexpected. Yi Feng murmured, but now the scourge of Cell is at last, it's over. In this time and space, there should be no threat in a short time, right? After a while, the smoke finally dissipated, and the destructive power caused by Yi Fang's energy bomb just now was also very terrifying. A huge sinkhole appeared on the ground below. As for Cell's body, looks like there's not even a scum left, right? Seeing this, Yi Feng also breathed a sigh of relief. Cell has Piccolo's cells, which can regenerate, if regenerated. Maybe it became stronger again, so he specially felt Cell's aura, and after confirming that there was no Cell's aura, he decided that Cell was finished. Ding. The sign-in task is announced now. Please go to the Dragon Ball's time and space to sign in, and you can get the transformation method of Super Saiyan 2 after signing in for one year. At this moment, the voice of the system rang in Yi Feng's mind, asking Yi Feng to go to the past time and space to sign in. This is much more interesting. He has long wanted to go to that era when the strong were rampant. Isn't there still a peerless beauty there? Tut tut, the number 18 there doesn't look bad. I don't know if there will be other cells appearing, if they appear, wouldn't I be a hero to save the beauty? Tisk tisk tisk, thinking of this, Yi Feng was very excited. It has been more than a year since I came to the world of Dragon Ball. Counting the time in the spiritual time room, it has been two years in total. I don't want to hang around so boringly. Want to go to the interesting world to play. By the way, the system, you asked me to go to Dragon Ball's time and space to sign in, but now the time machine is not finished yet, how do you want me to go? Yi Feng said to the system. Don't worry, as long as the host wants to go to Z time and space, this system can make an exception and open a time and space channel for the host. The system said proudly. Nani, system, you are really talented. What exception did you say? Isn't it right for you to do this? Ah, please be careful with what the host says, and be careful to take back the rewards you got before. Okay, okay, you are the master of the system, you have the final say. Thinking of his reward being withdrawn, Yi Feng thought of the powerless feeling that he could only hide behind the protagonist that year. Horse riding, I don't want to live that kind of life again. Yi Feng, my dear, you are really good. At this time, Sun Gohan and Trunks finally recovered, came to Yi Feng's side, and said with a thumbs up. Ha ha ha, that's a must. After all, that's how powerful I am. Yi Feng said confidently. A, hey, Yi Feng, although you are indeed very powerful, please don't continue to pretend if you can, and be careful of being struck by lightning. Trunks complained weakly, why didn't he realize that Yi Feng was so capable of pretending before? Woolen cloth. Okay. Okay, now that the artificial human incident is over, we should go back. Sun Gohan said, after all, rebuilding the homeland is the top priority now. Ro, I have no opinion. Originally, Yi Feng wanted to run away now, but after thinking about it, after all, he has been in this time and space for so long, and he already has feelings. If he just walks away like this, it is really not a human thing. Immediately, the three of them flew in the direction of the western capital. Almost an hour after the three of them left, the ground in the center of his huge Tionking was like boiling water, and began to roll violently. The small position, accompanied by lightning, was extremely frightening. Gradually, a part of the head finally flew out of the center of the Tionking and came into the air. Along with the continuous surge of lightning, it was actually growing gradually. Isn't this exactly Cell? Unexpectedly, this guy survived such a horrible explosion just now, and even hid in the ground for an hour specially covering up all his breath. Cell finally returned to his original appearance, but at this moment he dared not release any breath of his own at will. Riding on a horse, that kid Yi Feng is simply too cruel. Cell said that before he became a perfect body, he didn't dare to confront that kid Yi Feng casually. That kid is simply scarier than the devil. HMPH, didn't you expect that? Although there is only one part of my cell left, it can still be recovered. Moreover, my current strength has risen to a terrifying height. Cell looked at the distance and said proudly, this is the kind of excitement of escaping death. 
riding on a horse. Just don't be too cool, okay? Just wait, Yi Feng. When I go to another time and space to devour number 17, when the time comes, I will become a complete body, and you will be the first one to clean up when I come back. Cell had already made up his mind, so he silently flew towards the place where he hid the time machine. After Yi Feng bid farewell to Trunks and others, he embarked on a journey to the time and space of Dragon Balls. System, I want to go to Z time and space. Yi Feng said to the system, it's time, he can't wait to go there to pretend. No, go there to achieve justice. Now we are going to open the time channel for the host, and now there are two time points for the host to choose from. Choice 1. When Frieza and his son came to Earth. Choice 2. The day the artificial man appears. Hearing this, Yi Feng hesitated for a moment, but he quickly made a decision, let's go to the time when the artificial man appeared. After all, he he. Dot you know. Justice, but you can't be late. Yi Feng said secretly in his heart, but the wretched expression on his face has revealed his true inner thoughts. Choose the second one, I'm going to do justice. Yi Feng said righteously to the system. System. I almost believed it. Comma 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 comma. Comma 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 comma. In a certain corner of the earth, Sun Gohan, Vegeta, Piccolo and others are facing this powerful insect-like monster that suddenly appeared. Just now, this monster appeared out of nowhere, and its strength was even stronger than that of number. 17. Was the combination of Piccolo and number 17 defeated? And Android 17 and 18 were also watching the tense crowd not far away, and number 18 was also seriously injured at the moment, and it was not enough to continue fighting. As for our protagonist, Son Goku. Because of the viral heart disease, Keelan has already brought him home to recuperate. You monster, where did you come from? Son Gohan pointed at the green monster and asked sharply, because, just by virtue of his aura, he felt an invisible pressure. This green insect monster is strong. HMPH, listen up, I'm the strongest artificial human cell made by Dr. Globo, as long as I can successfully swallow number 17 and number. 18, I can become the most perfect warrior in the universe. Cell is very confident said. Vegeta uncle, this monster is very strong, let me deal with him with you. Son Gohan said standing behind Vegeta. Gohan, don't get in the way here. Be careful that I beat you together. Vegeta roared sharply, determined not to need help from others. All right, hearing this, Son Gohan could only silently step aside. Isn't it just a monster? Don't interfere, let Lao Tzu Vegeta teach him how to behave. Vegeta said with high-spirited and unstoppable fighting spirit. There is no doubt that at this moment he is the most beautiful boy in the audience. Vegeta, my purpose is to devour numbers 17 and 18. I think you shouldn't interfere. Cell said to Vegeta with a weird voice. HMPH, the two of them are useless now, I don't bother to kill them, but now, your appearance has successfully aroused my interest. Vegeta said with a sneer, his desire to duel with the strong became stronger and stronger. Stop talking nonsense, monster, come and fight me to the death. After Vegeta finished speaking, the golden flames around him began to burn continuously, representing his endless fighting spirit. It seems that you must fight me. Okay, okay, okay. I want to see how fluff you Vegeta is. Cell said disdainfully, he has devoured countless people, even if he didn't devour number 17 and number 18, he still gained impressive strength. He just finished torturing Piccolo, and now he is even more confident in his own strength. No way, since Vegeta wants to die, let's kill this guy first, and then become a full body, and the result will be the same. Facing such an arrogant Vegeta, Cell is also a little annoyed. The arrogance has to see how strong it is. You can do it, I will beat you out later. Cell thought to himself, don't you know how many feathers you have? The corners of Vegeta's mouth raised, his face was full of absolute confidence. Isn't it just a monster? In front of Lao Tzu's wise and mighty Vegeta, how can you be so fluffy? The two faced each other tit for tat, their swords were on the verge of breaking out, and the battle was on the verge of breaking out. Call out, call out, the surrounding dust was rolling, and the two figures pierced through the dust, and then collided violently together. The moment the battle started, Cell felt bad. This Vegeta is actually stronger than number. 16. This is unscientific, right? 
According to the data, Vegeta's strength is still below number 17, right? Humph. That's all. The corner of Vegeta's mouth was raised, and he showed a smug smile, dare to love what kind of monster was doing there just now. A punch collided, and Vegeta didn't move at all. Instead, Cell was thrown a long distance away. The gap between the two was obvious. However, this is just a fight, how can we have fun? Beat him upside down. Vegeta gained momentum, and in a flash, he came in front of Cell again and began to attack continuously. Cell was forced to fight Vegeta in close quarters. Bang bang bang. Bang bang bang. Vegeta's attack is completely crushing, Cell is a little confused, what's going on? Even if Lao Tzu, the most perfect warrior in the entire universe, is not perfect, he should be more than enough to deal with a mere Vegeta, but why is it that with Vegeta, Lao Tzu only feels the feeling of being crushed? Ha ha ha, is this the source of your arrogance? A monster. I think it's better for you to be a bug. While attacking, Vegeta taunted, sure enough, his son, King Vegeta, is awesome. The current self has definitely surpassed that guy Kakarot, and the current self is the greatest existence in the entire universe. Woohoo! I'm really touched, Lao Tzu Vegeta is so amazing. Looking at the weird smile on Vegeta's face, Cell said that there is a fire in his heart that is constantly burning. Riding on a horse, Vegeta, this is a bit too much. Vegeta, stop looking down on everyone. You actually ruined my handsome skin, I. I can't spare you. Cell was in a hurry, yes, that's right, Cell was really in a hurry. This Vegeta is simply not a human being. They say that everyone comes out to mess around and hits people without slapping them in the face. You are so good, you beat my handsome face every day. Could it be that you, Vegeta, are jealous of my handsome appearance? Ah, Cell went crazy, and frantically hit Vegeta back, trying to get back his face. It's a pity that Vegeta's body skills are quite flexible, perfectly dodging Cell's attacks one after another. At last, boom, Vegeta was very fast, and he punched Cell directly in the face again. Puff, Cell was a little dazed by Vegeta's punch, and at the same time, he was constantly cursing in his heart, what a shame, Vegeta is really disgusting. Wait until Lao Tzu becomes perfect. Watch how I beat you. I hit, however, before Cell could swear, Vegeta punched Cell on the other side of the face again. After this punch, Cell's face was deformed directly, as if he was about to turn into a pig's head. Lao Tzu's handsome face, just ruined by you, Vegeta. When the two punches hit the target and Cell was in pain, Vegeta kicked Cell hard in the abdomen. Call out. The power of this kick made Cell turn into an off-string arrow, and quickly flew backwards towards the distance. How did Vegeta become so strong? Seeing this scene, Piccolo asked in surprise. Everyone knew the grievances between him and Vegeta. After he became a god, his strength skyrocketed, and he wanted to solve the man-made problem. In the future, teach Vegeta a good lesson. But seeing this scene now, he hesitated. Cell's strength is above him, and now Vegeta has crushed Cell. Doesn't this mean that Piccolo will never find his way back? Riding on a horse. Cell, why are you so unlucky? So, you monster, you can go to hell. Vegeta came not far from Cell, stretched out his palm and pointed it at Cell, wanting to send an energy bomb at the end to send Cell, a brat with small arms, to hell. No, Vegeta, you can't kill me, don't you, don't you want to see my strength as a perfect body? But Vegeta's, instead of this, why not take advantage of Vegeta's character flaws? He he he, Lao Tzu is really smart. Vegeta will be fooled. Nani, sure enough, upon hearing Cell's words, Vegeta froze for a moment, and the energy that was shining in his hand just now was gradually disappearing. Now Vegeta is extremely confident in his own strength, so he wants to fight against a stronger master. And Cell said that his full body can make him stronger. So why not? Anyway, even if the Cell has reached the full body, so what? In front of his wise and mighty King Vegeta, isn't he almost trash? The only difference is that this garbage is just a little bit more powerful. No, Vegeta uncle, don't believe his words, you have to kill him immediately. Seeing that Vegeta was dull, Son Gohan knew something was wrong. Vegeta's secondary disease is probably committed again. Humph, how about making him a perfect body? Hearing Son Gohan's dissuasion, this strengthened Vegeta's mind even more. With his hands folded on his chest, 
he said confidently, in front of the juniors, how can it be done without pretending? Anyway, the proud son-in-law of King Vegeta has decided to make Cell a perfect body, and then teach him a lesson by himself, and let him know what is the most powerful and perfect warrior in the universe. Hey, if that's the case, I won't be polite, Vegeta. Cell said with an uncharacteristic smile, but unfortunately, his smile was not a grateful smile, but a hidden knife in his smile. Vegeta, make you proud, wait a minute, you just wait to cry you. Cell thought happily in his heart. Vegeta uncle, you can't listen to him. Seeing that Vegeta actually wanted Cell to swallow number 17 in number. 18, Son Gohan expressed a little anxiety, he knew the horror of artificial humans. This Cell claims to be the strongest fighter by devouring the 17th and 18th, which sure makes sense. HMPH, Gohan, I advise you not to meddle in your own business. I advise you to drink mouse tail juice. Gohan, I'm so disappointed in you. Vegeta said coldly, what he meant was obvious, if anyone dares to prevent Cell from becoming a perfect body, then don't blame him Vegeta for being rude. Meanwhile, Vegeta also expressed his disappointment with Son Gohan. I am strong, but I am willful. And Son Gohan, as a descendant of Saiyan, with the blood of a proud fighting nation flowing in his body, is he timid? Still afraid that Cell will become a complete body? I'm so scared. Don't tell others that you are Saiyan when you go out in the future, it makes me, the Saiyan prince, feel ashamed. Hateful. It seems that Vegeta is determined to let Cell devour the android siblings, but unfortunately he has no way to stop it, Piccolo thought helplessly, just now he was abused by this monster, which caused him to be seriously injured. What? What should I do? Sister. Both number 17 and number 18 were seriously injured, and number 17 looked at the oncoming Cell and panicked. Don't be afraid, I'll hold it up later, you take the opportunity to escape. Number 18 said in front of number. 17. Number 18 in this time and space is not the killing machine that kills people like hemp in the future, but a person who dares to love and dare to kill. A peerless and alluring woman who I hate. She is also very concerned about her younger brother. As an older sister, it is naturally impossible for her younger brother to be harmed. At worst, she will directly trigger the self-detonation later, and die with Cell. No, I'll hold it back. Hearing what number 18 said, number 17 was very touched, but as a younger brother, how could he let his sister take risks? Listen to me, number 18 said in an irrefutable tone. Jehieji. You two, neither of you can escape, you should obediently become my nourishment, he he. Cell didn't expect that there would be such an idiot as Vegeta in the world, and he would hand over the android siblings, this is really nowhere to be found, and it doesn't take much effort to get it. After a while, Vegeta will know what a stupid decision he has made, and he is still smug, what a sappy. You monster, I'll fight with you. But before number 18 rushed up, number 17, the younger brother, had already come to the front, approached Cell, and launched an attack. Snapped. Unfortunately, before no 17's attack landed on Cell, Cell's tail swept from nowhere and hid No. 17's face fiercely. Puff, Number 17 spat out a mouthful of blood on the spot, and slammed it heavily on the rock. Afterwards, Cell came directly in front of Number 17, his eyes full of greed. Let's start with you, Cell said with a sneer, looking at Number 17 who had fallen to the ground without any attack power. Imagining that Number 17 would soon become his nourishment, Cell was so excited that he wished he could go to the toilet and slam. Hateful, go away. Seeing that his younger brother is going to be swallowed up, is that okay? He came to Cell's side in a flash, regardless, and launched the most violent attack towards Cell crazily. Although the current number 18 has been seriously injured, this does not hinder her determination to save number. 17. It's a pity that Cell is worthy of being a Cell, even if it has not become a perfect body, it is not something that the current number 18 can move. Bang bang bang. On the 18th, the crazy attack around Cell, the fists fell on Cell's body like raindrops, and the power generated made the surrounding dust fly. However, even so, it still failed to shake Cell half a step. I said number 18, it's not your turn yet, go play. Although it can't hurt Cell, the behavior of number 18 makes Cell feel a little impatient. Riding on a horse, didn't you see that Lao Tzu is about to devour number 17? It's not your turn on the 18th yet, 
why are you making fun of it? While playing, without even looking at number 18, he sent number 18 flying with a punch, and stared greedily at number 17 in front of him. What a fool. However, just when everyone was facing despair, Vegeta was looking forward to it, and Sal was very proud, a discordant voice appeared. Nani, how dare someone mock me? Don't you want to live? Didn't you see that my uncle is about to devour number 17? Cell, who originally wanted to swallow number 17, couldn't help but frown. Who is so bold as to step on a horse? Could it be that the old birthday star eats arsenic and thinks his life will not last long? Vegeta, Sun Gohan, Piccolo and others all looked towards the source of the sound, they didn't know it, they were startled. What's the situation? Why are there two cells? I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.